can't stop me for a minute. I can let that ride all day. Microphone check. One, two. What is this? Uh, let me hit the drops right quick. New Joe Biden. Let me not talk while I do it because I'm a poor multitasker. New Joe Biden. Microphone check one two what is this welcome to the Joe Button podcast episode two twenty seven that is wrong that's no, right. twenty seven seven what do you think it should be shout out to Regina well, King well there's no place like home. Now you're acting like you don't know the word. When your family's a... Come on, nigga. Stop touching me, Parks man. and Rory can't jump in. Come on. <laughs> Sing 227 with Yo, we getting old, man. Martin man. is starting to look really old. That's set, man. No, it's old. It's no, but it's kind of been old. No, but it's, it's looking old. old. Every Rory, time I look wait, at it, I'm like... Well, chill. As, a, as a white person, you can't shit on Martin. That, I don't <laughs> on know. how long it's been out? I don't know if you can shit on Martin. came out in 93, Rory. right? First air? 93, I think? How old was Rory in 93? I was three. Well, shut the fuck up then. <laughs> it's old, man. That shit was great back then. Great. We couldn't wait. Why is trash now? It's not trash. It's just that it, it's just starting to look it looks so old. dated. Yeah. yeah. It's All the old look, TV yeah. shows look like they were done on a handy cam. Yeah. It looks. It yeah, looks they really could have used a 5D back then. <laughs> like Martin's so couch, that green couch is trash. <laughs> <laughs> now, when they change everything to HD, it does look a little weird. Because it's not supposed to be HD. You should have just left it in SD. Left it grainy. <laughs> yeah. I was I was ser- I was searching through TV shows on on the old Apple TV, the other the old Spotify, Spotify TV. TV. Thank you. Spotify mm. TV the other day mm. got hype when they had the total season of every episode of Twenty Four bundled in one package. Yeah, I almost I almost bought it. You ain't got your Hagen dolls. Oh. You buy TV shows. We know once Joe go downstairs and get the Hagen dolls, <laughs> he gonna be in that room a while. <laughs> and uh, add, add a Pepsi to that. Uh, He's well, watching two seasons. Soda floats. <laughs> well, soda floats. Joe was so happy when he found out how to make a soda float. <laughs> so that's all I had to do. Family yes, stuff. Joe. Yes, just just pour the soda and ice cream. That's it. And you there. He was soda float man. For you know what's funny? Y'all keep cracking on my soda floats. I'm I'm surprised you ain't never you ain't never getting my my sherbet my sherbet. Uh, what was that sherbet float I was making? Was with you the, around with for the that? So, with the, uh, Soda? Yeah, yeah, with the uh, yeah, chill. I can't even Trader Joe's. Oh, no, yeah, what's up with you? <laughs> I just said you don't got it. Give give it soda, I didn't say man. what you got. No, nah, don't do that. I didn't say what y'all nah, said you got it from Trader Joe's. Right, don't send them where to uh, go. My bad. He forty face ass name. <laughs> All right, <laughs> welcome <laughs> to the Joe Button Podcast, episode two twenty seven. I'm your humble and gracious host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here still somehow. Parks is here. <laughs> Rory is here. Erickson is here, and Savon is here. Erickson, this is the first week that actually hold up. Uh, shout out to the Spotify uh, community, our YouTube. YouTube listenership gang gang uh shout out to everybody in a gang shout out to the truck drivers uh shout out to the stay-at-home mom stay-at-home dad shout out to all you niggas we really appreciate you guys yes shout out to the creators the authors shout yes. out to the scammers the yes. hustlers the killers uh the hedge fund people no shout no don't shout the scammers out because the scammers got they getting a little too greedy they asking for 50 percent <laughs> that's the goal right now yeah how Damn. you want 50 percent of something you you got for free nigga Damn, De Blasio changed the game. Yeah, like fuck out of here. Y'all I can't crazy. say that. After uh, Trump is a scammer, that's yeah. a fact. That ain't got nothing to do with the nigga, local nigga in my on my block, man. Nah, if the president could do it, I'm rooting for the local nah. nigga. Go ahead, Brooklyn nigga, get that fuck nigga. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Fuck. That's funny. That's foul. That's yeah, funny. So that, was, that was very funny. <laughs> that's a lot. Damn, they cured HIV. I saw that. That's kind of crazy. That was one dude. That's a cure. Hey, hey. That's where it starts. Well, we no, had hey. one dude already. Yeah, Magic was already. Yeah. <laughs> He's running the Lakers now. Magic went to hey. see Dr. All right, so with the second dude, he could maybe run the Bobcats. <laughs> Y'all got to Never know. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm going to have me a cohesive podcast <laughs> today, God damn it. Relax. Uh, Erickson, this is the first week Smoke headed your way for that piss-poor job of a production you handed to our YouTube. Damn. I didn't think anybody noticed it until I read my mentions. I was like, damn, E getting it? Damn, they got you out of here, E? What yeah, happened? Yeah. What he do? Yeah, it was about fifteen minutes of some bullshit on the, on the YouTube. I was trying to tell him the yeah, YouTube was wild. broke. What, what popped up? Some porno? <laughs> no, nah, some wild shit popped up though. But speaking of porno, let's get right into the first topic. <laughs> uh, That's a cohesive podcast. Let, yeah, God damn it, I'm here. Joe is alert, aware. I'm, I'm with my guys. I missed you guys. I was just saying how I miss you guys on the Tuesday podcast. I'll be missing y'all Friday. Friday, you know what I mean. Because it's the weekend. You ready to just go home. Yeah. Matter. That's but true. But when Monday hit, you get lonely again. Plus, Friday be a long day. 
I was telling y'all before the podcast started, I, I, I'm really be ready to go back home and get my, my girl acting right and shit. <laughs> Everything's it's, good. It's just so great when your girl's acting right. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. And yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you, I'm glad the Costa Rica cleanse really helped y'all. Mm, don't do that, That's Roy. what it was? Rory, don't do that. It was. Don't, don't do that. Don't it do that. It was the papers y'all put in the, uh, the... I just saw you retweeting. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, hold up. This is where we started. Yo, Joe, you the sickest nigga ever, man. Like, you can't... Well, first I thought he ruined the paint and sip. I was like, damn, no one could even color now. Yeah. I didn't realize they was burning, like, their demons. Yeah, they was burning their, <laughs> burning their, burning their package, their, 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 their baggage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was burning no, their baggage. No, no. But my thing with Joe is, it's like how... But wait, before you say that, I can't burn my demons? No, you can burn your demons. I'm cool with that. I can't write them down on a paper? Of course you can. No, it's just that, it, yo, it, it's, it's just that you went from that... And then, <laughs> which was cool. Sicko mode. <laughs> Yo, but then you go from that to you. Hey, you that's cr- your button fist, nigga. Better stop saying salting. <laughs> Someone salting. Salting of sicko. That's you though. I'm fucking but no, you know, but that's how it that's works salting. because you went from that, which was dope. It was it was heartfelt, and then you start crying about De La Soul splits. <laughs> So I didn't understand. I'm like, yo, where's the where are we at on the spectrum? Yeah, you been talking to Bird. I don't even know. No, but it, I laugh when Bird called me because I was thinking that last night, like, yo, why is Joe crying about De La Soul splits? Which got me to thinking, like, it's something deeper. See, and that's the problem. But that's the problem. What's and the that problem? is why men can't speak to other men. You have no idea why I'm crying over De La Soul splits. Like, uh, let's have a serious I've never even seen you cry over your splits. <laughs> Like you're an artist. <laughs> That's why this shit is funny because you're like, a rapper. Yo, what's going on? Like what's, what's, your, on what's up with your splits? <laughs> like, because like, I want to cry about your splits if I knew about them. Like I would cry. Like damn, man. I they, definitely cried about. They the ain't have to do that about you know. What I mean, Parks like, was part of the splits. Yeah, That's why. <laughs> Parks was in the splits. <laughs> like they lost soul didn't cry about their splits. They might have. You know you. They say, didn't cry. You saying this? You don't know Pos. You, you saying this? <laughs> I don't see Pos crying over the splits. You saying this? But that that's it. all of this is exactly why I was crying. I, I don't need to cry over my splits because my splits were were nowhere near as bad as a De La Soul, which when you listen to De La Soul talk about how bad their splits were, and then with the evolution of, of the culture, when you get to around where I was and you think of how fucked up it was, yeah, it wasn't that fucked up. And it was still fucked up. Yes. And then when you think about before De La Soul, shit, De La Soul might have been an evolution from when you think about before De La Soul. Okay. So in my brain, my grandfather did music. Mm. I don't know much about my great grandfather, mm. but my grandfather did music. My father did music. Mm. My son does music. Uh, my oldest son does music, and my youngest son certainly appears like he' about to do music. Yeah, he be on that. So, about so to when say. you get so yeah, nah, he say he trying to repeat you if you sing some shit. <laughs> he fucking with all of the Elmo songs, like so. So if if once you get into retirement, or once you get into like trying to better the culture as a whole, it's it's no longer it's no longer a selfish thing. It's a very selfless. You got to start thinking about everybody else. That's why I cry about De La Soul. Because it just represents like such <clears throat> such a long history of fuck shit with no hope. So if you're telling me I'm going to die and it ain't going to be no hope for my kids, yeah. my kids' kids. It, it, listen, in my brain, my nut breeds music. I'm, I'm looking at my, you know, when you go to the doctor, they say, hey, what's your family medical history? I look at my family history of shit. My nut Breeds fucking some type of something in music. So this shit is fucked up. That's why I cried. Didn't mean to go on this long, serious <laughs> soliloquy. Look at Rory trying. Don't laugh at me. Don't I'm not laugh laughing at, at all. Don't laugh at me. Be my friend. I stand with you. No, I laugh. Be my friend. I laugh. Be my friend. Yeah, I was laughing last night. I'm not gonna lie. I started to text. But when chat. Berg hit me and said, "Yo, don't ever say Offset name in that in that tone and posture again." <laughs> I, I was like, yeah. I get it. <laughs> Berg was up early on the bullshit. Cause he called me at like eleven. I'm like, nigga, you in LA? It's eight o'clock. Like, Word. like what the fuck? Well, you but, but me I woke up and tried to get ahead of it. I was like, you cr- cried on two platforms. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what Rory said. Rory said he yeah. tried to get ahead of it. Yeah, before yeah. you came, yeah. I was like, I saw what he was trying to do. Oh, you and Rory be texting on the side? No, he, we here. No, we speak, we speak like men yeah, in person, yeah. face to face. We hash out our, our situations right here. What the fuck up? And, 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 and pre and prod. We call it pre pre what? Pre prod. Yeah, sure. Pre prod. <laughs> pre prod. Yeah. Knock both. Pre pro. So, shut up. <laughs> pre pro. Yo, uh, before we get into the MJ doc, on my way here, I was I saw a clip of Mike fifty year old Mike Tyson. Oh yeah. Nope. 
Did you see it? Yep. Parks, did you see it? No, nah, I didn't see it. Rory, smoked. did you see it? I did not. He knocked somebody nope. out. No, Check no, this. no, no. Probably a mosquito. Check this out. <laughs> so, still, I'm still cool. like, still there. I'm still all right. Like, what? That I speed never thought it left. That speed is still there. No, 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 no. No, it's better than what I thought. <clears throat> that speed is still there, bro. It, no, that everything is still show, show it to him, please. You know, Michael, yeah. Michael, this shit was, Fam. And that wasn't sped at, up? At, at, no. Actually, I think they slowed it down a little bit. cartoon, man. That's Mike Tyson at fifty cool. years old, just showing, just showing somebody what the smoke might look like. Yeah, just, that he ain't even angry right there. Yeah, no. <laughs> Actually, he was showing somebody else how to do some shit. Yeah, and is man. he in like a barista? <laughs> yeah, he's he at the coffee the shop doing this. Yeah, shit? he's behind well, the, the coffee. Will give you a little extra Holy energy. Shit. So seeing that, Mick, I, I would pay to see Mike Tyson fight now. It don't have to be twelve rounds. No, just no, like no, they just got like the big three somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, give. Okay, who the fuck is gonna do that? Nobody, nobody, that's what I'm gonna say. Nobody fight Mike. Nobody. Man, we're Buster Douglas that again. <laughs> he not taking not, that. But the, those type of fighters. I like, don't know that. They said it was crazy the first time he took it. <laughs> yeah, but Buster's not in the shape as Mike is in. Like a lot of those fighters you see him now, they a lot of them look bad. You know, they're not moving, not talking the same. Mike still has all his mechanics. His, you know, what I mean, like his 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 sense of. What's going on? And he's probably the most sober he's ever been. Yeah, which is more scary. Yeah, yeah. Those are the two men. Mike Tyson. He's still on that list of dudes that absolutely you just not. give it up to. <laughs> and for me, number two on that list is a homeboy that just fought this week and a John Bones. John Jones. Yeah. John. John Bones Jones. I think that's his nickname. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. John Bones yeah. Jones. Some shit like that. Guess what? You got it. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, he's yeah. I will get out of the way. Shit, I don't want no. That's no. He's number, he's number two on my list. Yeah, that's hands and feet. You got it. Yeah, no, I'm cool. Is he the Whatever. dude that needs someone in the head, like a flying yeah. knee? A, yeah, a few, yeah. just a few. If you can fly your knee like that, I'm cool. The yeah. problem, I'm anything. cool with any UFC fighter. Yeah, no. yeah, that's true. Like period. That's yeah. fighting. That's like <laughs> that's really fighting. 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 Yeah, that's fighting. But him, him, <laughs> nah. <laughs> No, I'm just. I just hope he can stay clean. He always failing the drug test. So um, imagine. <laughs> On the sober, imagine when he lock in. Like, yeah. he, he, he walking. He walking in off the Reggie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So let, let's get right to it. Let's have a nice go Yusuf podcast. I'm sure everyone by now has heard about the Michael Jackson documentary. Yeah. Uh, I saw both parts. I did too. Me um. Too. Uh. <laughs> Uh, what I will say is I don't know how this segment Is gonna go But boy the group chat Was fun Yeah it was The group chat was On <laughs> no, no it was Never no, you on fire no. and, and y'all missing something What I'm trying to say is Our group chat Has been dead For at least a year and a half Like we don't mm. communicate We wanna get We probably got mad Other group chats going on This shit has been trash On this night It was special <laughs> It was special Now yeah, You came through And crushed the buildings Was it me? Yeah, you don't popped do it off. That. You popped it off. Don't do that. You popped it off. Just scroll up. But no, 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 no. I would never. <laughs> no, no, I would never. I would never. Well, yeah. But let me let me let me preface this with there were there were no facts presented, right in the group chat. <laughs> that too. That too. <laughs> in the doc. Oh, okay. Parks. Yeah. Did you see the doc? I did. Both. Do you agree? <laughs> that there, there were no facts uh, presented. Uh, I mean, it didn't seem there very, were it only didn't seem objective. Uh, no, it just seemed there Mike were, knew those kids. That was the fact that I I that, caught from. That was the only fact, as far as I'm concerned. Now they didn't have clear. much to support. Right, and facts. I'm not calling you know either of those gentlemen liars. Me I'm not, neither. I'm not doing that. But I'm just. I mean, to sit in front of a camera and just give a testimony on uh, alleged. Situations, I I need more than that for four hours. Yeah, and I'm not, and again, I you know I know that child molestation is real. I know that pedophilia is real. Absolutely, but I mean, you have to prove. I don't. It was no proof. Yeah, I'm not That's dying in the Michael Hill because he was doing some weird shit. <clears throat> no, but. listen, as a as a as a grown man now, that shit is absolutely weird. Yeah, like, and I felt like that years ago. I was like, yeah, Mike, you have a kid, but again, no. we don't understand. Yeah, as a grown child, it was weird. Yeah, <laughs> like you don't understand the mind of. Mike, you know no, what I'm saying? I, I don't. I, I formed no, I, no. I, let me wait, let me cue up Rockham. No, I formed a few opinions from it. Now, <laughs> don't, don't, don't no, I, me I did too. Up. I did too. I definitely formed some opinions. But I'm with, I'm with you. I'm with you on no, I formed, yeah, I formed yeah, some. Yeah. I formed hey, some opinions. I formed some opinions, but I still need more proof, man. You can't. That wasn't. I, that wasn't enough. It was a testimony. It was, you know, it was one sided. Yeah. So it was like, all right, cool. I watched it, but I didn't get anything from that saying, oh, I got to cancel my. And let's be clear. I was, there. niggas will tell you, I was ready to cancel Mike if there was sure. any proof 
that he did this shit. I want to yeah. start. I want that's. I want to start right <laughs> there. Boy, the the joy that I got sitting at home reading the people talk about canceling a dead man. <laughs> no meaning, like I can't. I will no longer play his music. I won't support that. Yeah. I can't because if that was your family that went through that. Yeah. You would feel some type of way if you walk in the house and they jam in the mic. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I hated seeing people honest. try to compare it to the R. Kelly shit. The R. Kelly shit had people from both sides. And, and it was both proof. of them was wilding. No, but, but we had proof though. We saw That's video. what I'm saying. There was proof. Yeah. Even with cool. the proof of his camp being involved in that doc, even more made me think, all right, R. Kelly was doing that nasty shit because even his team is sitting here. Mm-hmm. Even when they're trying to defend him, he sounds guilty. My it thing- was just a bunch of people on one side. Not even about a bunch Mike. of people. It's two people. Here's, here's my families. Listen, here's my f- things. The Fed, the, the thing? FBI has never investigated someone for ten years and never found anything. Yeah. Like if the Federal Bureau of Investigation investigates you for ten years and they don't find anything, I can't sit here and watch two people just give a, a testimony and say, "Yeah, this is what happened." The yeah. Feds investigated this man for ten years, yeah. and they didn't find anything. They raided his house. Man, listen, I think that that. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Sip the juice though You gotta sip the juice when you Alright let me get some juice This nigga Rakim was angry boy <laughs> Rakim don't have no happy songs right he sound mad Not on really. him. No, no, he do, but he sounds mad on him. Even serious. Peyton Full, he was like I would paid say and mad. was still kind of serious. Yeah, he's always serious. Yeah. It was he was kicking, he was kicking knowledge. That's what Maul be trying to be, Rakim. <laughs> I'm not always serious. Maul Kim? Listen, okay. What do you think you're just gonna heat no, me up no, in the intro and I wasn't coming down? We got time. We got time. Blank, yeah, we I got, got something. Okay, the, okay. I got something in the chamber. I like when you like this. Yeah. I like when you like this. Now. First, the first kid, that nigga is full of shit. <laughs> who was the first? Oh, Wade? Man. Wait, no, well, who was the first no, no, one? No, 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 Hold up now. Which one was Wade? Wade, your the man. Dancer. Because you guys were both and you got oh, served. No, 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 no. No, see, that was my Ooh. guy. Wade was my guy. I stand with oh, Wade. Oh, I get it. He choreographed. Uh, yeah. You got served. He did the you got served, yeah, pump yeah, it up shit. Like, that's it. your man. Did it? Y'all Where's share splits. Connect? Yeah. <laughs> See how it's all connected? Yeah, Brizzy Connect. I get it. <laughs> Me and Wade Connect. You and Wade Connect. And Brizzy. The Wizard. Brizzy's in there somewhere. No, he's the Wizard. Wade is the Wizard. <laughs> the Wizard. <laughs> Wade is Wizard. Y'all didn't know. So now we've established that. Yeah, Joe that and Wizard Connect. Mm. Yeah, I get it. Hold your man now. Go ahead. Yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> Y'all are sick. <laughs> what? He's me, the wizard. Me and Wade Connect. <laughs> yeah. Me and the wizard. You yeah. and the wizard. Y'all are going to fucking die now, slow listen, down. Listen, I... <laughs> That's nasty. Yeah, All right, what am I saying? What am I saying? The first guy. Which uh, one, yeah, is is man, that Wade or no? Savon, who's the first kid? Because I'm fucking looking at your X-Men and Chuck. help, help our Chuck. podcast. Save Chuck is his name, right? Save Chuck? Yeah. Listen, whoever that know. first kid, I don't need to know his name. I think Wade was the second one. That's <laughs> my man. I stand Mike got Wade. a type because I kept confusing those two. The following views or the views that you've just heard are not necessarily the views of the Joe Budden podcast (laughs) or the Joe Budden podcast host. And nor them nor Spotify should be directly affected by you guys' cancellation of us. (laughs) (laughs) Is that the small fine print (laughs) that you carry? (laughs) That's definitely the fine print. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, because that's important. That first dude is full of shit, man. I don't believe him at all. You know, if they can get on there and give their fucking personal testimony, God damn it, I'll sit on here and give mine. <laughs> I am not rolling with that kid. That kid has tried to sell a book, sell a movie, fucking, he's tried to sell all types of shit. I ain't like how he was looking up and to the right sometimes when he was talking. Mm, that's a telltale <laughs> sign. And, and I, just, listen, and I don't think enough attention is paid to the parents that are complicit in selling off their kids. In the first four minutes of the fucking doc, I was informed that the mom was a stage mom. Whoa, that tells me where this one's going. Right. <laughs> the show was yeah. like uh, the mom abducted adjusts. in plain sight. Damn near with the parents. No, I That's kept getting exact- those vibes the whole that time. That is exactly what it is. Yeah. Nasty. Yeah. Same on the cabinet, man, for the <laughs> fucking parents. At no point, yo, the whole time that the parent is sitting, the parent is sitting there talking to mom especially, I'm like, oh, 
How come when it always get to your part, you just like, and then out the blue, I, I let him stay there for the summer with him, and <laughs> and take take away the whole allegations of what maybe allegedly happened. It's still nasty. Like, why are you just giving your kid to Michael Jackson? Yeah, my mom ain't let me. And like, I was what? a Mike I, fanatic. Fuck, all right, fuck it being Michael Jackson. Why are you just life. giving your kid to a pop star? I love Anybody. man. I love man in the mirror. You think my, my mom was not letting me spend a night <laughs> at Neverland? <laughs> no, not yeah, at all. It's just a little different. Mm-mm. Um, Stupid, stupid me, because I'm just obsessed with, like, details. I was looking around at the moldings of Neverlands. Mm. Looked nice. It looked old nice. Yeah. It looked old nice. But uh, I could see how somebody got would get comfy. I don't believe that first good kid at all. I just don't. Sorry. Uh, unfortunate when we get to a place where uh, judge and jury is the court of public opinion mm. due to these docs. Because Mike got off. Like Maul said, there's no evidence. He wasn't convicted Man, in, 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 the, in the justice system that, that you guys <clears throat> created to vindicate people, he's vindicated. Mm. Y'all chased him, didn't get it done, killed him. That, that's, and that's my problem with this. It's like, that wasn't good enough. Well, they'll kill you. Exactly. I mean, we don't need the docs to say that, right? But, <laughs> yeah. How old were you when you realized that that was the case? Because that's like a steep revelation. That they'll kill you? Don't repeat it so much, because let's stay alive. (laughs) But that. Um, Maybe about 10 years ago. 26-ish, 27-ish? 27-ish, yeah. Okay. Maybe, actually, now that I think about it, the Mike situation. Absolutely. That That was it for me. I knew what that was about. I don't hold too much weight in the justice system, but it would behoove them to get Mike the fuck out of here when they had the chance, and they couldn't. So mm-hmm. to me, that says a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't put too much weight in saying, oh, well, the justice system said he was innocent, so he's innocent, or he's guilty, he's guilty. I don't put much weight in that because we've seen how that plays out. I don't really know if I want to hear from a Sony guy right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, Man, I, have, I, I have the inside scoop. It would have behooved them to get Mike out of here. Mike was moving kind of crazy in Sony. Let's get to our Sony He was walking insider. through the malls. <laughs> Listen, man. He was, he was walking through the walls. Mike walking through the Sony halls is crazy. <laughs> Imagine you working at Sony and Mike walked through and there Mike screaming. Mike just walked through. Who's in charge of marketing? <laughs> <laughs> I followed Mike when I seen him at the win in Vegas. Followed him? I f- Security would have beat I f- the I, follow- I followed him from uh, from uh, hotel check-in over to uh, down the slots. And if you've been to the win, that's a long walk past the slots. And then you bust a right to the fancy, uh, fancy part of the building. I followed him over there. Joe, I'm, I hate to tell you that wasn't Mike. He was in Vegas, bro. Was, Mike's is everywhere. <laughs> no, that, that, no. <laughs> there's a Mike at every everywhere. slot. There's oh, a no. Mike at every slot in Vegas, buddy. I promise you. No, that was Mike. That wasn't Mike. Did you get a flick? No, that was nigga. No, that was the real. That's why I know it was, that was the real Mike. Everything stopped every step he took. Well, was there other people following? Well, except for all of the '90s security around him. That shit looked like uh, I can't even say the president. That mm-hmm. looked like somebody else was walking through there. Mm. Yeah. Like, and he was dressed in Mike garb. Like, <laughs> that was Mike. You just couldn't get within 300 feet of him. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. He looked like different shit. Listen, that first dude, get the fuck out of here, man. Listen, yeah, and this is what's fucked up too, man. It's so different when the victim is a, a guy. Mm. Like, watching that R. Kelly shit, you sick, nasty fuck. Now, though I do believe Michael Jackson beat off to some boy ass. When the victim is a guy, you don't believe that. Yes, I do. Why do you believe that? F- fam. He was doing too much weird shit. But I, be- no, 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 no. But why do you believe that? I believe it. I'm only speaking for my brain. Mm-hmm. I believe it because of how I believe that type of sickness is birthed. So for me, it's not really about Mike per se. Mm-hmm. It's about what I believe happened in his home from from birth similar to what i think about r kelly and what was going on in his home from birth that's how to me that type of sickness is come comes about so now even if i do not believe that mike touched any boy i still believe it it to be a sickness to need to feel that close to children even if he never touched a soul i still believe there to be a, a real sick sickness there 
I'll just don't I'll, invite the. <clears throat> if a nine year old boy is staying with me, right? It's sick, sick shit going on. Now I'm not putting that on Mike because adults be complicit in this, mm-hmm. and that's why I just I'm confused about why enough attention is not paid to the role that adults play. That's why I'm real happy that in that R. Kelly case, uh, Chicago PD is saying, "Nah, we're coming after who we feel was complicit to," mm-hmm. mm-hmm. because you can't run such an intricate operation alone. You can't, yeah, you can. especially if you can't fucking read and write. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, no, Somebody's doing this. Hey, and fuck you to whoever put together that two minute clip of me just saying. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I didn't what? see that. Nah, Save nah, on. Nah, Save on. Fam. Save on. Can you fam. pull that up? Put that, nah, can fam. you pull that up? Because you know why that's funny? <laughs> Let me tell you why that's funny. <laughs> Yo, a, a while, at least eight months ago, I got a string of tweets from people or just searching my name, seeing people say, Yo, that little hiss. T- Shit that Joe does is the most annoying shit in the world. And me, I went and tried to look for it, and I didn't know what they were talking about. I thought they were just freestyling. Right. And then the other day, I bumped into a clip of nothing. It's like 90 <laughs> seconds of all of my shows from different days saying, tss, 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 tss. I need that. I need that. I never I knew said, I needed to see that as much as I do right now. Wow. Yeah, okay. I'm searching yeah. It. yeah, I'm searching it. Tweet us, tweet us that link. Please <laughs> don't tweet y'all that. <laughs> Find it'll it be in my favorites. It. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> know what else I'm mad at? While we on shit like this, the same way there's a, a Joe Button Fitz Instagram page, there's a Rory and Maul Fitz Instagram page. Just not picking up the steam I needed to. Like he ain't posting enough. <laughs> no, his, he, he his, didn't stay consistent. His, his captions. Because I was a little nervous it. in the beginning, and I was like, oh, he don't even post. It. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't doing oh, it. Whoever run a dame, no, nah, he's not nah, consistent. He ain't even, it's captions is trash. He's just riding yeah, away. Cool. Yeah, your guy's good with the captions, man. No, yeah, man. They be funnier in the and, and he's got me and Maul out of here on a few posts. And he's engaging. Like, and he be tagging me in the fits. Like, you know, I'm like, I'm tagging near, every photo. I'm nowhere near this photo. Like, why yeah. are you tagging me? No, because I don't there. miss a I'm post. I'm not there. In spirit. All right, back to Mike. You styled him. That's true. Maul styled me for a lot of years. <laughs> That's oh, the part shit. that Maul won't admit. Yo, don't do that. Maul no, lived not. with me. No, I didn't and, and style you. No, he styled me. He's trying to give you credit. Maul was my live in stylist. Because you know, a lot of people get mad when you don't credit them on IG. That's crazy. I wasn't just stylist. What were you to me? I was a friend. What were not my you friend stylist? Not your friend stylist. My stylist, friend no. stylist. <laughs> Maybe it was vast communication. Miscommunication. <laughs> no, it was miscommunication for sure. <laughs> Maybe I thought one thing and you thought yeah, one thing. Yeah, that's what happened. I wasn't styling you. <laughs> Listen, I wasn't styling no. you. No. Now, you don't want to claim that work? I wasn't styling you. I didn't give you the work, work, nigga. <laughs> that nigga don't want to claim his vest. Listen, man. All right, don't worry about it. One. On, on, on to the second dude. Shit, that was bad. No <laughs> On to the second, the second dude. That's Mike's ex. Are we talking about Wade or the other one? Wade. That is Michael Jackson's ex. Granted. But how can you say these things, though? Because he's still, while he's telling me his story of of victimhood, Mm -hmm. he still sound like he missed Mike. I felt that He's more with the that, first guy than Wade. That's where I, that I, first nigga's full of shit, man. That, that, that's get him where, and his fucking that's, mom out of here. That's huh? Didn't James and didn't James the claim that they got who? married? The first guy. No, I'm saying it's Wade and James. Who who was the first guy? James. James. I think James, James was James. the first guy. James. I don't get. I'm not paying <laughs> James and his mom no type of mind at all. I'm not. Hey, I'm sorry. I don't even. I'm not paying James no money. Yeah, but you're saying I, that. I need more from James. Wade looks distraught. Yeah, but I, I agree Wade that something totally different. fucked. Wade missed Mike, man. Listen, all of this happened when he got Wade turned had- down from the, from doing the, being the director of the show in Vegas. All of a sudden, you know, it's Mike touched me. It's this, that, and the third. It's like... Come on, that shit is not coincidence, well, man. Like, well, but let me counter that. A lot of that shit is just hurt. Well, let me like, play devil's advocate. If you no longer have a vested interest to protect, to protect, then that would be the time to start spilling the beans. Joe, let me explain something to you. If you're seven years old and a grown man is touching you, penetrating you, or trying to penetrate you, whatever, that's not a secret that you can hold at seven years old. You're going to tell somebody, even if you tell another kid, that's coming out at seven years old. I believe the parents to be complicit more, so I'm not, not arguing but with what you. What I'm saying I is, believe that the parents knew what was going on. I believe the kid was telling the parent. I believe the parent was selling off their fucking kid. That's what I believe. But I believe other people would have known that. I don't think that's a secret that you can keep. The biggest pop star Bam, in the world is he, molesting my son. He kept the nigga on Neverland for 10 years. But, the nigga had a growth spurt. <laughs> Yeah, but what he I'm saying, what I'm saying is, Fair, I was like, yo, Mike ain't about to like dude now. He's 6'2. 
His hometown was Neverland. <laughs> See what happens when a guy is the victim, but look. This, what, is, yeah, this is terrible. See what happens when a guy is the victim, but boy, I want to preface this by saying there was not enough factual shit for me to. And that's, that's why with. some of these and jokes that's all are I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all I'm saying. Like, yo, it's, which, I didn't, I didn't watch seriously. that and feel like any of that shit was true. I'm just being honest, and it's not just not my mic bias. Like, I'm a fan because I was ready to cancel. I was, I watched that, hoping that there was proof. I just want to tell everybody that you cannot cancel a dead man. You can. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you yeah, absolutely yeah. can. No, you can. Yes, you can. You could yeah, cancel his yeah, estate. You, you can cancel that man. Yeah, you can. You cannot support yes, you can. him. You cannot listen to his. Yeah, Mike still brings in more money than everybody. The nigga is dead. You still, but you can still support Shut the dead. The nigga is dead. You can still support the dead. I don't know why you think you can't support the dead. I'm, 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 because I'm thinking about the perspective of the dead. I'm dead. You can you still can show what, support and love for the dead. What the fuck though. you want to do? I'm dead. We could do what you want. We could do what you want when you're alive. And that would be canceling. We can cancel R. Kelly. You can't not cancel a nigga that's yes, you can. Dead because Absolutely. I'm dead. Absolutely you can. Yeah, you all right, back, back to your Absolutely. point. All right, guess what? Well, back to your point. Right, your what? kids you eating off splits. I, I don't give a fuck. You can cancel them. <laughs> hey, huh? No, you're right. You can't. I you don't can. give a fuck. I'm dead as hell. I'm mad dead. Have a blast. Tweet, oh, but, hey, but, tweet away. Wait, wait. Because you're not here, because you're not here to, to feel the... The, the backlash of that doesn't mean that it can't happen. Well, you know why you know why I'm against the argument you're saying because normally when we get to these cancellations, ownership is never a topic of discussion. We canceling R. Kelly. He don't own his music. No, he don't even own his music. But we're talking about him, the man. <laughs> we're not talking about the music. We're not talking about the art. Well, I'm talking, talking more about, about the music with that, Mike. That goes in the cancellation. Don't do that. Oh no, it does. Like it's his his art. Okay, we so great. That shit. So great. So great. I'm on that side. All right, so let me argue with Rory. Rory. Michael Jackson is dead. None of the money from his music goes to the man that was a sick fuck. Well, if said, we believe it I to be true, I said you could cancel his estate. But what I'm saying, his family. Is, but no, no, no. Let's delve and the, in. And the income that they get, you mm-hmm. could still cancel that. Oh, so y'all would cancel the family, even though it wasn't the family at all. No, I. When I say cancel, his music I mean, now goes to his family. You can cancel his, his income to the Jackson family. I'm, I'm saying what you can cancel. Boy, your argument is dancing around. I'm talking about oh, cancel because I'm talking about canceling a dead man. And then more brought up. You can cancel the estate and the so and the music and and the funds they go to. And then I brought up when we get to these cancellation conversations, the ownership part is never discussed. So if we're including that, which Maul did in his argument, then I can listen to every R. Kelly song I want. What I'm saying is I'm can't, I'm not no supporting stake in his music. I'm not supporting his art. I'm not supporting not what he created. Stuff. When I say that, when I say cancel, We're, I'm no longer supporting. If if there was proof that Michael Jackson did this, I'm no longer listening to Michael Jackson's music. Same. I'm no longer supporting him in 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 conversation. I'm no longer supporting what he brought to the world. And, I'm not doing and it. And what you just said is what led me to ask myself a question over the weekend, which was, how often do I listen to Michael Jackson music now? And it's not it's not often. <laughs> And that's my uh, point. Not often, but I listen to for, it. For me, I'm just saying me. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's not too often. Mm-hmm. I, four songs a year. Not a little yeah. more than that for me, but it might yeah. be accurate. Four four songs. A I year. was never like and, the and biggest I, Michael Jackson fucking guy in the world. Anyway, well, I love Mike. No doubt, I love Mike. But I'm not. I'm not saying today. Four songs a year. I'm not just going back to everything. But I, I said the same thing about the R. Kelly shit. But he would still be meaning when I say cancel. I can't support him. Like I just can't. R. Kelly, I, I mean, I've been stopped listening. Same thing, probably about four songs a year if you're mm-hmm. not so active anymore. But R. Kelly, I'm watching you currently run an operation that's been ongoing for thirty plus years. Yeah, we need to we need to stop how all income is generated from from this monster who is alive. I just feel like the dead dude don't really give a fuck about what y'all talking about. But I get it. I get and it. It was one point in the in the documentary where I. You know, I forgot the dude's name, but he made sense when he said that you can't lay in a bed with anything for a year and not something not happen, not touch it, not. And he made he that made sense. Mike was tossing, but tossing weight up. That still doesn't say that he was doing that. Like that, no, I don't, I don't believe that. Well, I don't want to be insensitive. To, I don't. Let me not be insensitive. Is, is that insensitive? Yeah, just the way you said it. That's all right. Mike was Mike did something with Wade. So you think Mike was 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 touching oh, the boys? Was there's something weird. There's just, Mike, it's weird. It, Mike man. was instructing homeboy to turn around and pose. I don't I don't believe that. No, nah, what, what was he doing? No, nah, Mike had a that. thing for the ass cheeks. I don't believe that. 
And then then when the mom said she was listening on the phone call sometimes, yep. they was talking right. about just like, random looking shit. Looking for the ledge. That, <laughs> nah, that was more <laughs> shit. I mean, what? more. Whoa, wait, what the fuck? Wait, what? <laughs> no, what not just more. Well, that's more shit too with girls. What's my wait, age. wait? Before we go any further, what's, what's more shit? Let me just understand what my shit is. I'm talking about Mike. I meant to say Mike, but I said more by mistake. But that was Mike shit. What? Like the ass? Come on, man. See what I'm saying, man? Like you going too far? I'm <laughs> only going by their <laughs> testimony. <laughs> you don't believe that? I know you don't believe that. I do believe that Mike was beating off no, the little I, boys. No, you don't. But based off of them just saying it? No, based off. Listen. No, you got to tell me what you basing listen, this off listen, of, Listen, man. listen, listen, okay. listen, listen. Forget about Mike. Mm-hmm. I thought something was funny with A.C. Green before they told me. What do you mean you thought something was funny? Because he was a virgin? It's a little funny to not fuck for about 19 years and you 47 years old and star athlete. That's a little weird. What I'm saying is that what is as weird, a though? kid. Weird is different. No, nah, right? it was weird, nigga. But that's what weird is different. Was weird. You're an athlete with money and a jerry curl, and you ain't you ain't fuck nothing in 17 years. Mm-hmm. And then at the end of your career, you want to tell me, yo, I was a virgin the whole time. No, nigga, I knew something was funny. I knew something was funny. As a kid, sometimes you know when something's funny. And I was a kid, and you knew something was funny about fucking Mike. For sure. You I don't think anyone's fair. debating that there's yeah. something off with Michael Mike Jackson. Mike is a, definitely different. Listen, definitely. that's not even my prince bias. You knew something was off about fucking Mike. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's and Mike was nasty about... just for being around kids like that and having a weird infatuation. I'm not going to say he was nasty about uh, for I'm being around kids. I'm not saying he's kids. fucking little kids. Nah, because... you're weird. Because I don't. No, yeah, yeah, he's weird. yeah, yeah, but the I'm not weird, wait, hold up more. Yeah, but it's the weirdness weird. can be attributed to something as aside from pedophilia. So Mike, we know, was denied a childhood. Mm. So back then he was. Don't do that part. Yeah, he was. okay, okay. Yeah, that's being insensitive. Mike was fucked up in his house, no doubt. This, but that doesn't that's give documented. you that doesn't give you like yeah. a pass for doing weird none, crazy none of shit. this. None of this gives you a pass. But I'm from uh, identification and not uh, judgment or comparison. If you're denied a childhood and you a grown ass kid wanting to, a man wanting to be around some kids, I see a correlation there. I don't have to necessarily equate that to pedophilia, which is a different type of sickness. Mm-hmm. Granted, that's still sick. It's just a different type of sickness. Mm-hmm. Now, have 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 all of y'all spent time around the girl that you didn't want to fuck and then ended up fucking? Sure. And then ended up fucking? Yep. Yeah. Give me more. If, if I don't want to compare I, these two I, things, I, I don't know where you're going. I'm not, we're, not, we're not comparing anything. I okay. asked her a whole new question. Yeah, I, I, sure. I, I'll, I'll correlate it. That's my ledge. The ugly girl with the fat ass that you didn't want to fuck, put her in your bed for a year. You'll fuck her, yes? For sure. Okay, so now one First thing. First night. One, so. <laughs> we don't need the year. <laughs> what you hours. doing tomorrow? Yeah, you doing the, tonight. The funny <laughs> shit is ugly chicks with fat asses need to come back. No, they're, they're here. They're still around. No, yeah, they're, but they're still they, here. They, they're they're yeah. underrated. They should be valued. Like, they're like novelty. Uh, makeup it's artists kind of like yeah, killed that trend, they're but they're still out there. They're we trying appreciate to be those women, man. Yeah, they're trying to be pretty, but we That's want the that. Problem. I'm talking about the ugly chick that knows no, she's she just going to come through with the fatty yeah. Yeah. and put her face in the sheets. Underappreciated, yeah. man. Was yeah. that our yeah. fault? Maybe we should appreciate it the more. Society. This is misogynist. Society. Society. It's very toxic. Yeah, but the ugly chicks with fatties are trying to be cute. Like, no. Just be a- It's okay To be ugly We like you as is I accept you is as that, you are That's not misogynistic Everyone's beautiful That's understanding way. I saw somebody other, I agree I saw somebody the other day say Ladies We like the before pick Better sometimes <laughs> Hey That's true That's just a fact That shit is so depressing When you meet a chick That you like Shaped the way she is And she starts telling you How she need to lose A good 40 40 <laughs> Like my No <laughs> joke The second no. you lose that 40 <laughs> I Lose my 40 yeah. Let's go get a no, 6 piece You're gonna see my 40 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll be out here so fast <laughs> You're gonna see my 40 Yeah Okay well There's a few things Girls say that They don't know That they tell they, They're asking to see A dude's 40 Breast let's stop, reduction uh, Let's stop policing Women's body And get back to pedophilia <laughs> Yeah who are we That's true <laughs> We getting our edge back a little bit. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to pedophilia. Um, you were making a point about Mike having is, the woman. Listen, Mike is sick. I think the second kid, because I'm getting off of this 43 minutes, and Mike was sick. I don't believe James. What's homeboy James? The kid, the first kid. I don't believe James and his stage stagehand mom for a fucking second. I think that's really weird when white people start trying to insert their kids into shit when they're one years old. Fucking, that's off. You, yeah. you, well, you, you, I, well that's weirdo. what happened to Michael. <laughs> We're being real. 
Fair. What happened to Michael? All right, his, but I, I said his, I, th- I said pops I, was a stage. Right. I said I think it's weird when white people do it. Okay. Don't. But bring but up what Michael Joe Jackson says. did wasn't weird at all. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and shut up. Heard you. <laughs> Don't hurt you to the black community. And watch your mouth. To, and yeah, watch your mouth to the yeah, black why, community. Why, yeah, you heard. Uh, don't hurt you to the black. Maul, tell him. Yeah, and watch your mouth though. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Maul, stand with them. Joe Jackson is the complete black community. Just him. I don't give a fuck about. He's you. one of ours. See, all right, there you go. You don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Um, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, the second kid. I feel for the second kid, man. But not the first one. No, I don't feel for the first kid. I just yeah. wish they would have had more. Uh, so you think the first one is that lying. second kid couldn't even give Britney the right moves? Like, no, he gave her the right moves. Nah, but that was trauma he was dealing with. But he was talented, so he was still busting <laughs> him just, out. I'm just trying to understand that how second you, kid was fucked up. But how you feel like wait, that about the wait, second one and not the first? The one? The first one didn't experience no fucking. He went under duress. That second kid, you had, you heard the mom when the mom was like, "I knew something was going on." <laughs> When it was the Heal the World video shoot, whatever video shoot, Heal the World video shoot. And they told and us to drive ourselves to the... <laughs> <laughs> Joe is stupid. <laughs> yo, you stupid, man. Because you would take that part Wait, of it and be like, yo, yo you, you are part. missing the psychological damage that was done to Wade. <laughs> what you mean? Wade had to Uber himself yeah, before there was yeah, an Uber yeah. to the Heal the World nah, shoot. No, they pay for the rental car. They and, might and, get them paid for it. It don't matter. The mom said... This was very different. Yeah. <laughs> the mom said, this had never happened before. Mm. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, Ma. He get there and Macaulay's there. Fre- fresh off. Don't make me break the fucking headphones. <laughs> fresh off box office. Macaulay Young man. Macaulay fresh off a home alone. Yeah. Wade didn't stand a chance. It's my homie. What you mean? Fam, Mike was walking off with Macaulay. Yeah, Wade so. was all on the side having to see it. <laughs> what you mean? Stars that, stick together. Listen, put two grown ass women women in that scenario. One of them is walking away with some real psychological emotional issues. You can't do that. So you especially can't do that to no fucking kid. Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, but I. But again, that's why I'm looking at it like I feel like a lot of this shit is just. McCauley emotional shit ass. like I don't think I don't, I don't nah man I don't believe I don't believe Macaulay Mike little fucking <laughs> I don't nigga believe Mike was handsome I don't believe Mike did any of that shit man I don't I know believe Macaulay it. look good I don't believe it <laughs> that nigga had, and, no. and I'm wild for my Joe Jackson comment you know that white people got a quarterback look and a star kid look <laughs> it's, it's one or the other It's one or the other Those two looks is The white people got that shit Yeah Macaulay had that star look You knew he was a star? Man Hey Wade Get your little dancing ass out of here nigga We been finished black and white video <laughs> What? <laughs> this nigga is crazy man This nigga is crazy Holy shit Parks you okay? Yeah. I'm sorry <laughs> we definitely need the leg. Parks, you don't be as quiet as hell. Say My something. Nigga, I don't. I don't. <laughs> hey, no, hold on. Let Parks say something. He's sitting over there being quiet and pussy. Join I'm, I'm pussy. Okay. Right, I don't believe. Yeah, I don't I'm believe none of that pussy. shit, man. If the feds investigate you for ten years and don't find anything. No. You ain't do nothing, man. I think that there's something weird with Mike, man. I wish the documentary. I'm not saying it wasn't. I wish they would have had some evidence me, or something. Hey, let me tell you I'm something. not saying it wasn't. A, a, a dude come in here and and tear my ass up uh, without my permission. I ain't keeping none of the notes he gave me. <laughs> my thing is, if the feds investigate <laughs> you for ten What's years, my next topic? <laughs> how do you not? If you don't, not. They didn't find nothing though. <laughs> like, they didn't, yo, I hate Mike, but he gave me this. Like, uh, yeah, he wait. started showing rings. It. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, no, the ring shit was it's dead. It's like, That's yo, my nigga, weird. listen. Okay, so Mike gave you, like, you probably saw that, like, this is night. Mike, probably like, take that shit. That's how I'm equating all of this shit. Mike, like, I don't care about none of that jewelry. I'm gonna take it. You want to take it. <laughs> now you showing it. I can't even keep my hands still. I'm shaking. Just hold. Shut the fuck up, man. I don't believe none of that, boy. It's bullshit. I don't believe it. All right, so let's get off of that for a little bit. What do y'all think about uh, Oprah canceling Mike, even though he's... Oprah yeah. should be ashamed. I didn't even see what, what did she It wasn't say? nothing in that documentary said, that was canceling Mike. Just straight up, hey, my and name's then, Oprah. And then John Legend said that Mike is nasty. John Legend is nasty. I love John Legend and his wife. Kid? Yeah? He's nasty. Wait, well, that, no, I'm still, still rolling with Mike is nasty. Wait, hold up. What's, yeah. nasty? what's nasty about John Legend? You've been the cleanest dude. <laughs> <laughs> no? It's 
he's nasty. nasty. Now he's perfect. You ever seen him walk? He's perfect. He no, nasty. no, no, but those, man. but those be the people I'd be wary of. I know, those, that's like, true. Those real You're creepy. Yeah, yeah. something yeah. is like, sick so about. You do about some nasty shit. John Legend in common. This is some sick. John Legend been singing like he on and they collabed a lot together. Yeah, he been singing like he on a cruise ship for ten years. Fuck out of here, man. That boat been docked, man. Nobody want to hear that shit. I like John Legend, so I love John Legend. He got a nasty walk, man. I don't like when niggas walk nasty. Why are you mad at John? <laughs> Word. I, He's got a nasty I've actually never even wait. seen him walk. He's at a piano every but time wait, I see him. More being mad at John Legend is, is worse than me being mad at Will Smith. I'm not mad at John Legend. I just he just caught some John, my bad. He just caught some because you just tried to hold him down and, and you know what I'm saying? I ain't like yeah. that. Yeah. No, John, I have no problem with you. Well, yeah, I think you're great. That. If you don't have a problem with guys, you I think I think he's great. Yeah, you gotta let him. You gotta let guys know when you don't have a problem. And John won't. I never met John. We are way too toxic for John to listen to. That's true. Or admit to listen to. And he's somewhere playing the piano anyway. So, hey, we're just all ordinary people, man. That's all we are. He tried to tell us. He told you how you judge people when you say everyone's ordinary. Yeah, he judged me. Why I can't judge him, Joe? (laughs) Mike was definitely not. Nigga called me ordinary ten years ago. (laughs) Let me get my shit off today. You ordinary nigga. <laughs> ordinary ass singing ass nigga. <laughs> been singing in the same key. How long he been singing in that key, Parks? What key is that? <laughs> this one? Who's that? E C? flat minor. E flat? E flat minor. Oh, this one? Yeah, right, yeah, they, one? They told us two weeks we was losing our ears, man. <laughs> Overcompensating. <laughs> man, we fuck y'all just, <laughs> just saying, man. We're just finding people now. <laughs> yeah, word. Nah, because they tried, tried to get Mike out of here last night. I ain't like that shit. You didn't feel it? Yeah, I wasn't feeling that. So you don't believe Mike was jerking off to, to uh, boy ass? No. <laughs> I don't. Sorry, I don't. I mean, he was definitely weird, definitely different, but I don't think he. Nah, was, something was I don't going think on. he was abusing children. Man. Something was going on. I don't think he was a sexually abusing. Why children, are you so. hanging out with that many kids, man? Mike was definitely. I mean, I could off. I could name a bunch of reasons why no, he can't. never had a childhood. He nah, loved kids. He wanted nope. to keep kids innocent. And I know bad kids that didn't have a child. Let them have fun. Yeah, but they didn't have the, the money that Mike had. If you knew kids <laughs> that didn't have had the money that Mike had, they never had a childhood. I'm pretty sure they listen. Would, I'm also a lot of things. You, you I'm also Parks, rolling. Parks hometown. Mad at them kids didn't have a, a child. Word at all. His old hometown. <laughs> yeah, but if my yeah. hometown is jail. But now give them fucking <laughs> two hundred million dollars. They would probably build some extravagant shit and. You know what I'm saying? Like Mike just had the opportunity to make fantasies like that's what he wanted. They're gonna say I'm making excuses, but when Quincy Jones went on that rant and named all that wild shit, he didn't say one thing about Michael touching little kids. But listen, the feds investigated him for ten uh, years. Quincy, Quincy also was wasn't probably invited to Neverland. Yeah, his splits, his splits <laughs> are active too. So who Quincy's? Yeah, with Mike. Should we? They cry? got splits. Oh, so they good. I'm just saying he's not not the guy to go to for <sighs> you know what part. Mike Dirt. I, I stand corrected. <laughs> yeah. You don't yeah, go to Quincy for the Mike Dirt? I'm wrong. He gonna yeah, hold Mike nah. down? He's gonna hold Mike he down. Would hold, he would hold Mike down. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, Mike ain't do that shit, They man. sold about 200 million fucking <laughs> record. Mike ain't do that shit. Is that the live version? <laughs> you know what's funny? Is that the Kanye it's, version? It's, it's funny you said that, Rory. I was trying... I've, I've always tried to figure it out. I thought this was the, uh, the first mix. Mm-hmm. I, I I always thought this was the original original. Yeah, yeah. No, you need that. You need a twelve inch mix. Pause. Y- yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which, I could, yeah, it's just it's it probably is the same. Just they just edited a bad. It yeah. Well, it's the rough. He's still singing that shit. Though. Nah, the this, album version. And the this dance is the version, version they would have played on IG Live if they were about to put it out. <laughs> Got yeah, something on ex- the way. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. now they, had, they had to have the joints. <laughs> that, that was the other one. The one that we play is like the remix, the dance remix, because that was disco era. The shit, I get the, my. This the version get... you play right before people start showing up to the pool party. Hey, yo, oh, I'm glad you said that. Should they have a pool party this year? Yeah, I think we should do of something course. different. I think we should we should have a we should have a pool party battle. Who throws the better pool party between it's... us and who? Somebody, the brilliant idiots. <laughs> Fan. Fan. Come on. Come on. Yeah, man. Stop. Ain't nobody going to nowhere Stop, where man. Andrew Schultz is in trunks. Stop. Get the man. fuck Stop. out of here, nigga. Hey, you funny on your pod, but put trunks on, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no bitches coming. <laughs> Be funny in some Hawaiian shorts. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but more, a lot of that would have to fall on you. Wait, hold up. Hold up. I'd have to have confidence in you. To do what? We're all fucking washed and married. That don't mean we that can't do a pool true. party. What the fuck are you talking about? No. Sin know that I have a lot of... Uh, yeah, what are you talking about? That I would invite friends. It's a pool party. To a pool party. Yeah. Come no, on. what I was thinking, you do, I do a pool party and mic certain people throughout and do like a confessional booth 
and yeah, like niggas going in be like, yo, this shit lit. <laughs> yeah, sure. You got the fat ass six fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, before we move on to this meek snippet that me and Rory want to talk about, Rory, what did you what what does your generation think a kickback is for? Uh, to eventually tell the fuck. truth. Tell it's, the truth. It's a it's a better Don't, place to actually to eventually talk fuck. to women to get to know them in that capacity because you can't really do that at the club. Like that's what the kickback is for. Like chicks that are cool that you would probably eventually want to get to know better. The club is probably the worst place to meet. Yeah, like I, for sure. And I don't want to say a kickback is to fuck because it's not, but it's just to get to know women that you may have that type of interest in. Huh? See how they move in a social situation that's not the club. I'd be a kickback scene if chicks could hold a uh, conversation. Because mm. in the club, how many words? You, oh, get me a drink. And you can't really get your joke shit off when you're trying to yell. At all. It's a better yeah. way. It's, she don't hear it, but she still act like she heard it and laugh. Right. And you be saying to yourself, she ain't even hit my punchline. Sorry. <laughs> nah, that's why I fuck her eardrum all up. Yo, that's wild what's happening over there, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you can't get your personality off in the club. You can't. <laughs> what's happening over there? <laughs> This nigga is stupid. What'd you think of that to happen the other day? <laughs> yeah, I'm that nah, guy. You, I'm you a all of that. Nah, you can't. Un- you unless can. you got a lot of money or could like really dance, you're not getting your shit off in the club. Niggas don't dance no more though. Actually, if you dance now, you you kind of look. Nah, at it as someone a weirdo get light in like the circle. You could like I make think, a circle. Yeah, but that, I think you look uh, stupid. Uh, that was always on my bucket list, but I never could do it. <laughs> to get light circle. No, I can never get people to form a circle around me. <laughs> <laughs> I can never like. Yeah, you started kicking man. bars in the club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one's a no cipher. <laughs> no one's naming the cipher. Trying to get a cipher going in the club. <laughs> oh, I love you. Did. Love I'm not that. saying you did. Don't look at me. I'm just yeah, the thought of a nigga trying to get a and, cipher and trying going to rap over, over the other. It, yeah, you said it following that. But I, that's <laughs> like, why. That's like why I cleared it. No, no, no. But that's why I pump it up. Nah, I'm not throwing no smoke your way yet. Nah, you cool. Yeah, no, you cool. Pump it up. Cool. All right, I'm just checking. Um, all it right, would have been okay if you if you did that though. Like if you requested pump it up, it's cool. We um, like that song. All right, listen back to cohesion now. <laughs> um, damn it! See? What if you do the cipher to pump it up? Okay, so look, <laughs> fuck that. Hold on. So 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 to close it, I right. like the kickback conversation. We, I had else had. No, no, I, but we didn't close the mic shit. Do you think Mike did it? I need to see facts. I think he's a weirdo, though, with his things with children. I'm I'm not cool with. Okay, Joe. Do I don't you, think he was fucking the kids though yet. Joe, do you think Mike did what the, he was accused of? And no, I don't think he did all that he was accused of. I think he was beating off to some boy ass. Okay, I don't think he did any of that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, all right, just just checking. I'm going with I don't know. Just checking. Which is unfortunate when you think about the parents allowing it. And I don't want to, I'm not veering this conversation here because we already played Outstanding, but to me, that's the true sick, sick shit. Before we leave true, true, true sick shit, did y'all hear about the Baltimore husband and daughter who killed uh, his wife? It was the yeah. story that he blamed it on the panhandler. Yeah, I saw it. I didn't see that. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That just sounds crazy. Yeah. He blamed it on a homeless person killing his wife. Yeah, this was the, that was the story. It came out a while back, and then Oprah Winfrey came out and said, you know, she she won't ever take money from a panhandler again, and you know they was trying to pump that up. Where are we on Oprah on the Oprah radar? How do we feel about her? This is a portion of the media interview in December where Keith Smith and uh, Valeria Smith, both now charged with one degree murder in the death of Jacqueline Smith, his wife and her stepmother. They blamed the murder on panhandlers, both arrested in Texas near Mexican border. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the that was her stepmother. Yeah. And that was his daughter. No, that was his wife that he killed. But who's the girl? His daughter. And that was her his stepmother. Daughter. His yeah. daughter, her stepmother. Yes. <clears throat> um. All right, we played outstanding already. Uh, we did. Now I'll give another version for real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Um, so this Meek snippet. <laughs> I fuck with Meek, man. I like Petty Meek. And you know, I got to give my nigga Maul some props, man. Why? Meek was definitely beefing with Trey. <laughs> was he? He was. He went off stage and kind of like. No, I mean we can't played, confirm that. Played with it a little bit. I can't confirm that at all. But if I'm just thinking about the tweets that he was throwing out there back back during that whole saga. <laughs> yeah, felt a little way. Some tension. Yeah, I think Meek is that guy. 
He feels some way about that? I think that Meek, when he feels, you know what I mean? He's going to throw a little shot rap about it? Yeah, he's going to throw a little shot at you. All right, did everybody hear the snippet? <laughs> everybody hear the snippet? Uh, Rory, pull up the snippet. You finding the snippet? Parks, did you hear the snippet? I did not hear I saw, Maul, did I saw, you hear the snippet? I, I saw A&R James Harden making a stale face to it. Ah, All right, so that's what hey, I wanted to get in before we get into this. Hey, hey, Y'all to- talk about Meek and Trey. LeBron and Harden, man. Is he trying to get him out of here? The A&R beef? Yeah, this is kind of nuts. It's true. Is this like when DJs and bloggers used to try to like steal records and leak them before the other DJ? Mm. This might be it. Damn, might so be how, it. Come, how come Bron didn't get this exclusive? Harden, Harden. He was two chains. Too busy with two chains. Yeah. Harden <laughs> said, nah, while I'm putting on this fucking amazing scoring display during the season, you think you're going to out finesse me on the A&R tip? Guess what, Bronny? <laughs> You're not. You don't got this. He got he got A and R in his last name. <laughs> Bill Burr killed that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Burr. All right, you want to hear these snippets? Let's hear. Oh, there's more than one. That's not that's not that's normally how we lose, Meek. <laughs> and we started out to listen, man. Damn. Word. He broke as hell. <laughs> Mad bro. <laughs> so much hurt. I got it. Yeah. So much pain. You got the 80s bass okay. on. Did he have a point about wearing the uh, Balenciaga's with pre-cut jeans? That was one point. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> let's let's get into all the points that Meek made. <laughs> he made a few points. Mm-hmm. Balenciaga's and bo- well, f- forget Balenciaga's. Boot cut jeans today. <laughs> Ish got to cut that shit out. <laughs> Ish is the only person I know that still wears uh, boot cut jeans. MJ. And yeah. MJ, yeah. yeah. Who's MJ? And, uh, and apparently Jordan. Jordan. Nikki's, oh, yeah. Nikki's boyfriend. Well, Wait, well he, down, he just down, got out with Nikki's do boyfriend. Don't do that. Wait, slow down. How do, how do we know that he was talking about Nikki? We don't, but it's funnier if we think that. <laughs> Who's Nikki's boyfriend? Because Meek did tweet uh, some street nigga, oh, some, okay. some yeah. blood street nigga. Um, Who just got out, so if he was wearing boot cuts, I get it. That's that would true. be normal. Yeah. yeah. Normally, when you just get out and get the hand-me-down, you're getting some boot cuts. Yeah, <laughs> it's happening. And you're going to wear them. Yeah. And if she has Balenciagas, I might pair those two. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> might look a little wild, but I just came home. Y'all are, I, yo, y'all are fucking I look, stupid. I look wild, but I'll kill you, so. Yeah. Don't tell me I look that's wild. True. That's how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you killing those. Yeah, I'll kill you, too, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'll kill you, too, though, nigga. Um, yeah, how do we know he wasn't talking about, like, who else did Meek fuck with? <laughs> I don't know, man. Who was supposed to be his Beyonce? <laughs> Listen, I, I know some names that I just won't name, but I mean... <laughs> who, Meek, who he might well, be talking about? Yeah, man. Well, Meek tweeted, yo, dog, that was like six chicks ago. I ain't even talking about her because everybody thought he would be talking about Nikki, of course. Got it. Mm. But Meek is right, man. It's some other names that he was feeling. Yeah. I, well, obviously. He was feeling. He, they, he put it out they there. I like the the... the, the the seventh call back to Miami. Come back through. Yeah. <laughs> come, come, come back come, through. Come back down. Back, yeah. That's jet ski again. Yeah. That was nice. <laughs> had a good time. Had a good time. We had fun. Oh, that's so understated. The, the, gr- the, the girl you can have fun with? Word. Yeah. True. The jet ski be, be the horse get. and carriage for the IG chicks. Yeah. That's they shit. That's, that's the new horse <laughs> and carriage. That is they shit right Jet ski is definitely the new horse and carriage. That's the horse and carriage. Yeah, for sure. And it's I mean, like, jet skis are fun. They are fun. So. That's like $80 cash off the beach. <laughs> y'all are y'all are peasants. <laughs> you never had fun on a jet ski? Uh, it's a good time. I'd like to think that I've I've worked my way out of having to look at the jet ski girl. I'm looking at the girls <laughs> that are on the random yachts today. Mm. Oh, that's good. No, but the jet skis be attached to the yacht. How do you think they got there? No, nah, no, nah, the yacht girls are way more slick than the jet ski girls. It's the same girls. <laughs> yeah, I promise you it's the same girls. <laughs> I, I can 100% guarantee you it's the same girls. The same girls. Yeah, the hair just be wet when they're on the jet ski, so you don't, you don't really <laughs> you recognize, recognize they, them. They okay. hired the shit out of the dude on that yacht, though. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. You'll never see the dude. What? How come they could get nineteen girls in the frame and he, not the dude? Because he owns oil. He's yeah. not trying to be seen. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, that's funny, man. I would be on the yacht. <laughs> you, it's me. <laughs> this, this, this my yacht. Shit, say button on the back. My, Buttons, my, boat. My, my yacht. yacht, my bitches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm lit. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see how I'm moving. Regular Monday. <laughs> Y'all see how I'm moving. Regular Monday. Like, why did why did French pull up to La Marina in a yacht? Let's talk about it. That was a ball, though. I'm not hating. That was a ball. Yeah, that was a ball. I'm not gonna hate. That was a ball. That was a, to get that off. That was that was hard. You want to? No, that was hard. You want to be in the Hudson in the yacht? Swear, if that I was pull hard. up. If I pull up to La Marina that's in hard. the French. Hudson River, that's hard. On a yacht, that's hard. Y'all are not gonna say. Joe, you did that. Nah, I no, would. you're not. I would, but <laughs> you're, not, you're not French. All now, right. a, a jet ski, I'd be like, yo, come on, fam. Yeah, no, you want. <laughs> but a, a yacht? <laughs> fam, I laugh. Cruising I, through the Hudson on a jet ski. I laugh ski. from <laughs> headquarter <laughs> at the yacht in the Hudson. You are nasty <laughs> fucks. What do you mean? Y'all are peasants. It's all types of boats in the Hudson. You, you, are, you are a peasant. <laughs> that's a bar. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, Pulling up to a, a club on a yacht? Hudson is, is a little nasty. That's, that's, that's It'd nasty. be big ass cruise liners in the Hudson. Yeah, exactly. How's that nasty? I don't want to be next to the cruise liner in the yacht. Fam, I judge Anybody the li- hey, gonna be next I, to the cruise liner. I judge liner. the little party boat dudes that be like, hey, meet us at the Hudson uh, 12 o'clock sharp or you'll miss the boat. Man, fuck your boat. I ain't trying to party on the Hudson. <laughs> no, I hate, now, now, let me be clear. I oh, hate those boat parties. You haven't looked yeah. in the Hudson? I hate oh, boat you parties. lived in Edgewater. Yeah. So you have looked in the Hudson. But that water in Miami that niggas be on on the yachts ain't much cleaner. What the fuck? You, them niggas be riding right through the middle of uh, uh, well, my, downtown I, I, Miami. I don't know. I don't know if they're pouring blue dye or what in there, but I'll take it. <laughs> nah, that, shit, <laughs> that shit just hey, is nasty. I'm, I'm rolling with the Miami water before I'm rolling. No, in no, the absolutely. absolutely. You have a blast. absolutely, yeah. but that I'm just saying that water ain't the cleanest. That's all I'm saying. Let's get back to Meek and Nikki. I mean Meek and Meek and whoever and you're talking who, about. Whoever Meek Alleg- and bars. allegedly, yeah, bars and Meek. If me and you just broke up a year ago, then. How'd you meet, dude? <laughs> I thought it was valid. But we talked about that. I thought women it don't was take, a valid question. Man, women always got a nigga in the tuck. All right, that, but can Meek say that? He's, yes. he's human. He's human. He's, he, he was being vulnerable with us for a minute. Fam. Is he being a little hypocritical? I mean, no. rap, I hate this podcast. Where's our edge? Like, come on. <laughs> no, he's listen, being a little hypocritical. I'm totally down. Listen, I accept vulnerable Meek. I know that leaves when O'Malley is around. So, <laughs> yeah. like, that's when we if, get the B side yeah, joints. If, yeah, that's when me ain't gonna, it's probably gonna sound so vulnerable. But for now, O'Malley was doing him somewhere in Philly <laughs> in the studio or something. Meek said, you know what, bitch? Yeah, I gotta get this off. And, and another thing. Yeah, I gotta get this off. <laughs> I respect that. I, I'm fucking with it. I respect I'm that. I'm fucking with it. But, <laughs> see, that's why I'm not just gonna run it. He's just a Nikki. Because Nikki's a rapper. Yeah, I'm. I'm not on that. Listen, Nikki's man, a rapper. I, nah, it's, I, I don't think that Meek is just trying to diss. I don't think Meek just got away from O'Malley and was looking for rapper smoke from Nikki. Listen, Nikki, man. A, Nikki, a bust back. I don't think Meek is she looking already, for that right she now. She already took a shot. Man, Meek listen. is a social fucking icon. I don't think that he is stopping his iconicness to go back and forth with Nikki. So he better be careful. Here's my thing. I think that oh, Queen Radio I don't, will be scheduled. <laughs> Yo, wait, wait. Before you say that, you know what's funny about dudes? Dudes will go through all of this, even in their moment of vulnerability, just to let you know the nigga you're dealing with is ass. Of course. What? <laughs> Yo, That's one on one shit. Hey, yes. fuck how y'all gonna look at me right now. Guess what, Duke? <laughs> <laughs> He's trash. That nigga is ass. Yeah. I mean, he does have Balenciagas and boot cuts, so. But my thing is, I'm, people gotta stop just assuming that. I think that's corny Stop assuming that Meek Is always just talking about I don't think Meek Is thinking about Nicki anymore I'm gonna be honest I think that these I rappers agree, Are obligated to tell us Who they're talking about That's what I think <laughs> we're, we're, we're too in, we're too invested now we're, we're, I'm all the way in Listen. Uh, I'm not gonna go that far But I think this, no, no, can't, I can't, We can't just assume That Meek is always Talking about Nicki Whenever he's talking well, about Well for, forget about The gossip part of it The song sounds nuts mm. Yeah it sounds good And Meek just dropped The album that's nuts so why the fuck are you dropping a song? Why do you have another nut song? What are you working on? Where's this from? What's going on? <laughs> the deluxe. He heard about the two chains deluxe. Nah, LeBron yeah. didn't call me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. James. That's what Harden came in and was like, "Yo, I heard about so, this yo, thing called the deluxe. You put this on a deluxe. Meek better go get crafty out of jail. What you mean? <laughs> oh, Robert. Oh. Rob. Never mind. Rob. <laughs> You oh, said so crafty. Cra- like, who yeah. the fuck is crafty? I mean, crafty moves. It was a bar. Super Bowl. Yeah. Double and, entendre. Don't even ask him. Yeah, don't ask me how. You ruin it if you ask me how. I'm not going to ask you how. My bad. <laughs> More information came out about that, though. It says that Robert Kraft uh, uh, 
the two ladies that he got the handy from were not sex trafficking victims. He had a three way handy. Uh, I didn't know no, that. No, he much. got handies on two separate occasions oh, okay. from two different employees. Only handies, but they were not sex trafficking victims, and he hand tipped them both a hundred dollars when he was finished, and he left. Leave that man alone. <laughs> Leave that man alone. If he just went yeah. in the massage parlor, went in the back, got a handy, gave a hundred dollars, and went on to beat the Chiefs. <laughs> Leave him alone. It yeah. only gets messy for me if you had if you had knowledge that this was a sex trafficking ring yeah, and you different. were and you were paying people that were powerless and being held against their will. I agree. I don't think that Robert Kraft was doing that, and the evidence that's coming forth says, "Hey, what? Uh, I know we don't. This is not a political podcast, but they have, they they on Trump ass." And that's all I'll say. He's they almost, bet on him. He's almost. Done. And that's all I'll say. We, nah, we ain't got to talk about it. He's gonna escape. <clears throat> He's no, 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 no. He's gonna escape. Yeah, he's gonna escape. You think so? Yes. No, Why is that? He's a rich old white guy. We talk about crap. Rich old white guys go to jail. Not very often. Hmm. Uh, when both parties are against you. <laughs> the Republican Party has been for him. Not, I disagree with that. Not anymore. I disagree with that. This is the first time in my life and my dad's life and my grandparents' life, because I've spoken to them, that this much of a party has ever been against their own candidate. Yes, he has people rolling with him, but a lot of them Republicans are not for him. And listen, I'm not a political guy. There's a lot of shit I don't know. I'm real stupid. But it looks to me like they're gearing up to not impeach him. That's going to take a while. They're going to take his ass right to the feds as soon as his uh, term is over. Yeah, that's all. That's all. I'm that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They won't get him while he's president. No, yeah, no, 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 no. That's all I'm saying. I don't think they're going to get him while well, he's president. I think it's actually illegal to get him. There's some federal shit where you can't get the president. So that's why they're waiting until his term is done. He's going straight to jail when his term is up. Listen, we I didn't talk about, about we didn't talk. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. Some. I think that he's going, he's going, they, they're giving him too much evidence. Too much evidence. The Democrats acted too quickly after that Michael Cohen shit. We didn't talk about that Michael Cohen shit here, but boy, was I glued to it. And I was glued to it because the Trumps have been nasty fucks for like a long amount of time, like a lot of years. And for, and I, I respect things that, other people's eyes have witnessed especially older people there was that was very telling a lot that went on in that fucking michael cohen shit we won't talk about it because it's not the podcast for that but i'll get to it another time but some sick shit from them fucking trumps um now uh what would you gentlemen like to discuss next what would you like to react to <laughs> it's a reaction we podcast. Are now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we're trash. Well, we was talking about Meek, right? No, no, no. I thought we were done with Meek. Uh, Are we? We got some more Meek jokes. Uh, uh, that record sound hard. I, listen, as the guy who created uh, Instagram snippets, <laughs> that's what we're doing. I'm yeah, listen in retirement. I'm taking credit for the things I feel that I created. Okay, you should. As yeah. a rapper, that wasn't humble, so I didn't do that. But in retirement, nah, it's <laughs> over. I created that. <laughs> That's Joe. That got Joe fingerprints all over it if we ever were to do forensics. Mm. Um, but I'm not here to take credit, even though I am. Um, <laughs> as the guy who created that type of shit, no, 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 I'm not getting hype over it. I know this might come a year later. This might come two years later. <laughs> I'm not getting hype over it. Speaking of getting hype over shit, uh, Khaled's album, May release date. A lot of him in Epic Records saying this is the best album in the world. Of course. A As lot of the, no the normal Khaled rollout for yeah. the last three Khaled albums. But I, I listen, I won't be mad at him because the last three albums, they've been those. They've been, if there if there were an equivalent to blockbuster movie releases, yeah. Khaled's album is the blockbuster movie release. Okay. And in, the, in this clip, he is talking like, you know, he said something interesting. He's talking like this is the blockbuster release. But he said, I have to remind people what a hit is because I don't think people remember. That is important. There are a lot of okay songs today that do well enough to be considered a hit, but it's not a hit. They're hot records. It's only a hit because ain't no hits out there. And when he said that, I said, holy shit. Hmm. He smoked that. He's right. Yeah. These, these hits ain't hits. Now, plus people label hits. These hits ain't hits. Sometimes a hit, people call something a hit, even though it's not even top 10, top 40. A hit, how you determine a hit or how that's gauged today, 
You know, there are some records that don't perform as hit records that have the accolades that hit records have, and that's what streaming has done. It's redefined what a hit is. Yeah. Play so those some hits. records take off. You know, me and Rory, Rory, Rory and I, I judge people to say me and when it should be that person. I, Rory and I have this conversation a lot when it comes to uh, the Shaq West kid because we feel like his song should have been bigger. Right. Like, if that was the hit that the industry told me it was... Right. Because that's how this industry works. It tells you what the hit is, and then you react to it. Every reactionary business. That record should have been a lot bigger, but it wasn't. Right. Yeah. Sicko Mode was a hit. That Juice World bullshit that all of y'all, that, that y'all, y- y'all got tricked by the streaming farms. <laughs> That was bullshit. So that one, that, that I record say, is bullshit. Had, had the accolades of a hit. Of a hit. But, but that's not a hit. It's not going to last. That's not a hit. A smack. You could barely get high with that bullshit last decade. Up, I'm sounding grumpy and old. But it's the truth. <laughs> no, but the thing no, is I just this, don't think Joe, it's going to last. You, you, which a hit record lasts. You know how many which, records I would have popping uh, if in my day a nigga could go to his phone and hear some of the mixtape joints? Yeah. yeah, it's cheating. No, but 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 again, Joe, with hits, you can you feel. And it. I'm not angry. No, 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 no. I'm not angry. Well, people have cheated to get hits with with blatant samples and remix. Fam, I, I'm experienced, so I know the bullshit when I see it. And there's a lot of inflated numbers floating around out there that people are using argumentatively. For sure. There's well, one that's thing that streaming always made the easiest way now. Now I, I mean, can just something go, just getting on just a go hot and playlist. See how much it's been streamed. It has a billion streams. It has to be a hit. Something getting on the playlist that first pops up when you open Spotify or mm-hmm. Apple Music or whatever will automatically, essentially get shit moving. Yeah. Oh, so let me confess. More than get shit so moving. let me confess. I'm a playlist junkie now. Oh yeah. Now I, I check for certain playlists. Uh, I you're see, part of the problem. I, I could see. It. I still purchase music parks. <laughs> you do not. Don't ever, I do sometimes. Don't, sometimes. I do all the time. Don't ever address me in such a manner. <laughs> um, but now that I'm looking at these playlists, boy, it's a lot of trash on these playlists. You have to but pay attention I, to them. But I see, I understand the science behind it. Today, we're in a everybody is too lazy to do anything environment. Mm. Right. So we have to be told the songs that are dope because we don't have time on our own to search through millions and millions of songs. Yeah, yeah but and again, what's tough there is when you're dealing with labels that have stake in different you, you streaming took my sites. Next, you <laughs> took my next point. If I am, It's to, like working a radio record back in the day. It's the if, same thing. if streaming this year has taken over 75% of all sales, that CD shit, if you thought it was dead in 2017, it's <laughs> way more dead last year. Yeah. So the labels are fucking are are complicit in the playlist because they get all of the money essentially from the streaming, which is why you have this report going out that labels, the three major labels, uh, Sony, Universal, and uh, wait, is Sony Warner? Am I confusing something? No, Warner, no. Sony Warner, Warner and Universal Correct. collecting nineteen million dollars a day from music for a grand total of six point whatever billion dollars a year. Mm. Who has a problem with it? Me. Why? Who's willing to actually do something about it? Me. Not many of you. And that's where a nigga like me, who cries over De La Soul getting robbed, has a hard time continuing to cry. Because it's not many niggas that's actually willing to do something about that. That number is nuts. Why is that nuts to you? Why is it nuts to me? Yeah. Um. Well, for it to be nuts, I have to put it next to a number. Okay. Because you're right, alone, there's nothing nuts about it. But when I put it next to the number that I think artists make from the music that they generate, not touring, not anything aside, right? it's nuts. It's, that's, yeah, no, that, that is when it becomes nuts. And, and granted, I don't have any factual way of coming up with the number that, that the artist side makes, but I can Google the artists that are on Sony. Sure. And I can Google the artists that are on Universal. And I can Google the artists that are on Warner. Right. And I can come up with I can come up with something. The only part that makes it tricky is coming up with exactly how much Universal takes because Universal owns everything. Yeah. I mean, the thing that is misleading about that number is they don't say how much they pay out to artists and they don't say how but, much independent artists combined are making off. With, with the general knowledge of what we know artists to get from major labels, even JV labels that they may have partnerships with, yeah. you know that they're keeping 
a big stake of yeah. however many billions Doris of dollars. Doris is getting fifteen percent of that. <laughs> like Doris is getting fifteen percent. Yeah, listen, if you Roughly. if you use a best case scenario, do you think all of the artists between the three labels walk away with a billion dollars? It's all together? Yes. What's fifteen percent of seven billion? I don't know. Save on. Save on. <laughs> How's your math skill, Save on? Quick, Savon. come on, Save on. <laughs> Carry the one. You don't have to be quick. Pull a calculator out. We're no, it would be. It would be. Uh, it would be close to a billion. Yeah. Seven hundred million, I think. Maybe. It would be. Uh, no, it'd be. It's... Wait, the wait. I fucked up. Million, My question would be one point four billion from some, roughly from their be, yeah. from their bodies of work, not outside of it. No, I'm talking about yeah. That's what I'm talking about. They, yeah, we talk about they would roughly be getting fifteen from... percent of the cut. I mean, it's obviously a blanket number, but that's. A typical major label artist split would be 15%, 85%. I don't think that label. at all. I don't think that at all. No? I think it probably averages out to what you're saying in totality if we're including Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, and Drake. I think that if you include... And, and I think that if you Bruno, include... It's a little over a billion. I think that if you include the uh, the powerhouses that are Empire and TuneCore and... Etc. It actually might be higher than fifteen percent. Oh, never the case. I'm not rolling with that. Okay. I know how Empire pays out. I'm not rolling with any of those artists walking away with anything that would help the the grand total. Nah. If actually, I'm thinking the opposite. If I take away the powerhouses, which would be Drake, if I take away the top two acts or right. the top three acts from each one of those labels, uh-huh. I don't think they're sniffing a billion dollars. I think if you take Drake out this equation, and that's why market share is so important. But I think if you take out the powerhouses, you're not getting anywhere near seven billion dollars total revenue either. That's true. Well, then I would like to do it that way because my fight is for the people that aren't getting it. I don't think yeah. Drake and Taylor Swift have an issue. Right. <laughs> I don't think Ariana Grande has an issue. Right. I don't think the powerhouses have an issue at all. My fight is not for them. They're getting theirs. Right. Uh, like somebody told me. What do you mean they're getting theirs, though, in a, in a percentage share or just no, the amount no. of money they're receiving just because they're selling so much? Yeah. Because I still the, think they're getting fucked. I'm, I, and we can't say that until you tell me what Frozen Moments is. That's someone trying to get unfucked. He's been fucked for so long and now knows the game. He that, knows what's on the other side of the door. Awesome. That's not telling me exactly what Frozen Moments is. There are a few things that I would Wait, like to... Wait, what's that reference to? That's Drake's Drake. LLC. That, that's, oh, okay. that's the Drake LLC that mysteriously popped up after he stopped talking about the albums he would need to release to get out of his deal. That's when he separated himself from everybody that was attached to Young Money. This is my eyes. I'm not trying to convince anybody of this. Right. No, but I think it's been on record. For, for quite some time on this podcast, I've been saying, I want to know what's up with Drake's deal. But that's not my major point of concern. Today, I would love to know what's going on with Kanye's deal. Well, we're his, seeing some of it. His deal is the one that I would love to know the most about because it's tricky, it's confusing. Kanye. I'm I'm sure. <laughs> so what's your deal, B? <laughs> what's the splits? Because Joe's no. ready to cry. No, Tommy, no. <laughs> keep them on. Just keep them on, my nigga. We have a podcast to do, bro. Damn. Be damn a cry over the Kanye splits. You, you might. might. You might. Let me inform the three of you who I, who, that I thought were savvy. There's nothing to cry about. <laughs> Kanye splits. <laughs> no, he samples a lot, man. He might be getting rough splits. Hey, yeah. Let me tell real you, so I've said a bunch of times, if I'm attached to anything Kanye musically, <clears throat> I, I, need, I need forensic accounting done. Mm. Yeah. I need forensic accounting done. And then an accountant to watch that accountant. I'm, and, well, because he's certainly getting fucked, so he's he's well, spreading well, the fuck down. And, and that's the yeah. funny the part. Line. Kanye, even in all of these lawsuits that I'm reading, he is begging for forensic accounting. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, he know he's getting fucked somewhere. Yeah. That headline that I read about Kanye being unable to retire, did you guys read that? Yes, yes. yes I did. Yeah. That was alarming. Uh, yeah. And let me say that I'm gonna. Attempt, you believe that though? I'm gonna attempt to. Yes. Yeah, for sure. One hundred percent. One thousand percent. Why do you believe that? One thousand percent. I believe it. I believe that that would be written into his contract terms. Let me start with that he can't. Retire. Let me start. Yeah, with, within a certain amount of terms. Yeah. I'm starting with. Did Joe check if that's go, in his? I, I am taking my hate out of this Kanye conversation because this convers this this conversation is an important one to have. So any side hate that I have for Kanye, I'm eliminating for the sake of this uh, conversation, which I will not do moving forward as it pertains to Kanye, but some of you know that already. Um, 
Why don't you think that that would be the case? I, now, I read the shit, by the way. His contract? I read it all. I read the terms of the lawsuit because EMI bust back this weekend. Yeah. <clears throat> EMI shot some things back, and that's where we learned that Kanye is unable to retire. And Kanye's counter to that, which is all in the report if you Google it, is I live in California. And in California, they have some, some type of seven-year creator or labor rule, mm-hmm. which says that I, whatever the fuck you talking about, you can only talk about it for seven years. Right. And past that, we got to divvy it up, which is why in, in the Kanye part of the suit, He's looking for he's looking for uh he's looking for clarity from 2010 up to today. Mm-hmm. Uh, EMI has a very different perception of of course of what the words in the contract mean and the behavior that's taking place, what it indicates. But in reading it, yeah, Kanye is not able to retire. Hmm. That that those words are in there. Yeah, they're in the contract. It's not a. It's not some other shit said that's leading up to that results in you not being able to retire. Well, this- it says, "Hey, the way that you have acted for uh, up until this point of the career to get all of the success that you have, uh, that's how you are to continue to act with every other release, every video. You ought to put forth the same effort and fervor. You ought to like they covered their bases in. Hey, this has to be your primary form of income." For the next forever. <laughs> for the next forever. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, all right. Here it is. So not Rema- this forever. Remain, am I off? Remain actively involved in writing, recording, and producing uh, and major label albums as your principal occupation. Furthermore, at no time during the term, initiate a retirement from those occupations. Okay, so... It's or take term? an extended hiatus in which you're not actively carrying this out. And how long is that supposed... How long is this supposed to... Supposed to go on? Like, how long was this contract? Because it said for the... For, Term. For the term, yeah. Do we know what the, the term, term is? The term? That's what I'm not seeing here. I, Kanye's trying to argue the seven years since 2010. Okay. Yeah. I read something that said, I think because of the way that he's trying to go about doing it, it is now going to void the fact that his whole argument, essentially, because he's trying to do something that is, uh, I think, outside of the jurisdiction of California. So now his argument about it being a California-based contract is null void, but we'll see. That's funny that they would even put that in the contract. Though. Anybody that's, would. That's gangster. That's some gangster anybody, shit. Right? Yo, telling yeah. someone but, they but can't retire. <laughs> it is. But it's, you but you it's, can't retire. But it's not. You go, what? And that's why I would love to know the terms of Kanye's deal. Because according to Ye, this deal was signed when he had zero leverage before he sold any records. Right. Got so it. let's yeah. say 2002, 2003, somewhere around there. I know how those contracts go when you don't have any leverage at all. And guess what? Take it or leave it. He had more leverage than me. Mm. See, that's the part that he's leaving out. Yeah, you signed this deal when you didn't have as much leverage as you have today. Mm -hmm. But you had a whole lot more leverage than the likes of I. Which means you came to that publisher with said leverage. Mm -hmm. And they paid you for it. Mm -hmm. For that wording to be in there... They handed you a lump sum of money, not even for just your projects, because the wording says nothing about your projects. Well, it's a publishing deal, so it wouldn't only include his projects. It would be everything everything that he touches. Uh, That's not necessarily true. Well, in in that sense of... Yeah, but you're missing what I'm saying. In 2002, listening to him, he would have no leverage. So that would mean very little is what I'm saying. Even if he closed that, yeah, it means little. Still, but you could I, also close a deal for just you. Mm. You could. So if he, all right, so that actually further proves my point. Because if he didn't close a deal for just him, he had a lot more leverage than you're letting on. Okay. As a producer, right? He was producing a major produ- projects. He was producing a major project. Well, I'm not sure what year he signed this because this he could have signed this as a producer. O two, O three, it says. Okay, and then he didn't really put out an album to O four. Yeah, but he was so, already yeah. on Jay Z records and uh, not big soundtracks. No, I'm saying so he was a, signed as a, as a producer, yeah, so rather. That might, but yeah. that would be included in your, in your yeah. publishing deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As no, a producer, absolutely. as a songwriter, yeah, yeah, that's absolutely. what this is for. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, then 
I would like to know, and that's that's my question today, because you're right. Right. I would like to know how that terminology transitions to today. I'm not sure that it's changed. It changed. You mean for producer it, uh, it, producer writers? No, I mean p- publishing contracts and the wording. Because oh, sure in 2002, changed. how things were worded and how things were viewed is very different from how it's viewed today. So if he's arguing that this contract is null and void in 2010 and they're arguing that this is still in existence, then we're still dealing with variations from the original contract. Right. Little sick. Well, uh, a, a little, lot of a, a lot of the sick. problems with the industry financially is that the the contracts are actually still rooted in principles from earlier than two thousand and two. Hell yeah! Like well, a, yeah, a lot of the deals and contracts and stipulations that are happening now are still using like breakage, for instance, that doesn't fucking exist. Like well, that still exists in contracts. That's sick. Well, I I say all the time, uh, I signed my publishing deal in two thousand and one, and independents were like laughed at. Independents were obsolete. In, independent, you wasn't getting no money at, in terms of publishing. No. if you were an independent, that changed at some point, and it took a it took a little while for the publishers to acknowledge that. Today, they do, gratefully, but they try their best to keep those contracts the same. So if I'm just trying to guess some shit, looking at both sides of the argument, they're dealing with variations from an original contract, right? But that's why. I, but if I'm looking at how Kanye moves today, because I'm, I, I said, listen, if I'm signed to good music, I'm auditing y'all. I don't know what all of this rollout Wyoming, other artists, quick album, five albums in a month shit is. Yeah. But I bet you it you has something, something to do, to do yeah. with Kanye's contract. <laughs> yeah. His contract means something. He has a different contract. I would bet it. With Def Jam, where he has seniority at, where he's the fucking, yeah, but that's whole new regime came in when he was the man. We're all leveraging the world. Yeah, no, I want to know what type of contract Kanye has. Not to kill him, but to see, like, what is it that you're beefing about exactly? Mm, that makes sense. Music hasn't been your primary form of, so, like, EMI has a point. <laughs> right. If we're going by what you signed. Now, yeah, I know how the law works. So you can move to California and now that shit is applicable out there so EMI don't have no argument. But as it stands now, I don't really see where Kanye got to fight. It doesn't look good. You signed a publishing deal yeah, with that good. verbiage. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't, doesn't look good. I mean, but you and know. I, and I would like for him to get his shit back. Yeah. I think that's, I mean, it's going to be a, a fight. It's definitely going to be a fight for it. But I think at some point he will. The other part I don't understand about Do you about think that Kanye. might have anything to do with him putting out all of those six albums at one time? Because that could we just... We you, just say yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. We, we just said yeah. Because yeah. that makes it your principal occupation at that point. Mm-hmm. No, it don't. No, it don't. You putting six That's a way albums. to fight against it. I don't know what your Adidas deal is, but th- you can make put, an argument putting out that. seven yeah. albums in a row could make that seem like, hey, this is my principal occupation, producing albums. Or maybe he was just trying to bring in a bigger income than what his income was from shoes. Yeah, writing, recording, producing year. compositions for major label label albums. So at least for 12, that's a principal at least occupation. For 12 months, he can argue that, yes, this yeah, is my shit. that's what I'm getting at with that. Yeah, no, you're right. I can see that being why he did that strategy. I that make makes more money off this than shoes while I'm bringing this lawsuit to you. Yes. So you can't say I shit. I don't think Kanye works in that type of overtime for the result to only be in perception. I think no, I don't think I it's think in perception. Would. I think it's in numbers. Yeah. He did all that work to show that, yo, I made more money off records this year than look, I made yeah, off look shoes. What I did. So this is still my it's, primary it's income possible. source. It's impossible. Going strictly it off is, your principal it's occupation. It's impossible. There's it's no possible. way. It's not possible. It is not possible for those six albums to have garnered more income than uh, the Yeezys or the Yeezy collection. If you could show enough losses from the uh, cost of manufacturing or design or the shoes, there's a a way way to smudge those numbers. You you will lose, and they'll send you to jail. Yes, there's a way to do it, but people are not stupid that are determining these things. They know what time it is. They're they're watching during the year. (laughs) You You can do whatever you want for that month. Put 10 albums out. (laughs) <laughs> the Yeezy sold a lot. Like, well, I'm wait. Hold on. Could you not fight your principal? Your principal occupation, home. not your principal source of income. I'm not a lawyer. I'm yeah, just trying, I'm just trying lawyer, to think how so, you could how you could yeah. switch that. Your principal occupation has to be writing and recording and producing. Me signing some Adidas deal, and then this that could still be my primary occupation. I might not make the most money off it, but that's where I spend my most time. He's going down. <laughs> 
He's going down. We'll see. He's going down. I mean, that, that's my opinion. If it if it comes to that, well, no, he's down already. <laughs> this is down. He's trying to get up. Yeah. You're just saying he may not get up. It's hard to believe Kanye because Kanye has Im- Im- implied, and so are a lot of re- artists. Re- They're re- down with Republican publishing. There wasn't strategies a Kanye for like spite. a long time. Re- Kanye has told us he was broke since 2011. Yeah. So it's hard. It's it's just hard. I don't. I don't know. I don't yeah. know what's going on when right. it comes to Ye. They just tell me his next album gonna be crazy, <laughs> and I believe it. I ain't gonna buy it, but he's I got be- the whole choir there. <laughs> The Yo, song. nobody wants to say it. Nobody it, wants to say it. They're saying it. So let me be the first dude to say it. However you want it does not sound better with a choir. It sounds horrible. <laughs> They're saying it. A choir f- fucked up soul to soul. <laughs> I know y'all love Kanye, and I know we love choirs. And the funny shit is- That was horrible. Soul to soul is a choir. <laughs> yeah, <word. laughs> That's the funniest part about all of that. They are a choir So that choir They definitely stacked Those vocals yeah. Man, I oh, don't want it. Hey, Whatever they're doing In Calabasas They should leave Soul to Soul The fuck out of it <laughs> That no. didn't That didn't That was the one song Was like Alright Alright all right, Duke Like Now you just wilding out They can't just get a cover off No It's gotta no. be better No, nah, they covered outstanding Y'all can get the cover It wasn't off. better than the original well, I'm not looking for them to do that, but a choir. Well, then why would you? A, a why would you hold them for soul to soul? A choir is a different effect, but there was nothing added to the soul to soul joint. That just sounded horrible. How long do you think their sets are? Who? The, the choir sets. Because we always begin like one snippet I, I, a week. I only see what Sahai will allow us to. Sahai. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cameraman. He is the cameraman. When he ain't rapping. <laughs> You got a multi ass nigga. Yo, earn, earn your keep. <laughs> nah, you got to have different <laughs> you'll, occupations. You'll, you'll, be, you'll be bad tomorrow. No more good. <laughs> <laughs> that was a me joke. Yeah, all right. <laughs> that was a bad joke. Ten percent. Ten percent from the yeah, line. Yeah, that, that was a me joke. What else happened that's important that uh, I need you guys to react to in the culture? Let's see. Uh, react Travis. To. No, you don't want to react to Travis deleting his Instagram and finding it again because Kylie, the world's youngest billionaire, caught him cheating in the DMs. Are we a gossip podcast? I wish the fucking Kardashians stopped getting us to stand with them. No, I don't care. <laughs> I don't see, but I interpret that differently. I don't think that's gossip. I, I understand how, how your private life can dig into the psyche of a creative. Mm-hmm. I don't know what Kylie is doing to Travis over there. I know I liked how his <laughs> album sounded, and I want to hear another one like that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever space he was in making that album, yeah. keep him in that same space. Yeah, let him get back to that. Uh, Luke Perry passed away. Let's say rest in peace to him. Rest in peace. Yes. Uh, that's important. Lead, uh, lead singer from The Prodigy also passed away. Let me get his name. Damn. Yeah, you skip pre production, huh? What? Lead singer from who? The Prodigy. The Prodigy. Fam, I thought he just said the lead singer Prodigy. I was no, like, no. <laughs> Keith, Keith Flint. Keith Flint. Young. Yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. I feel like somebody else died too. King Kong Bundy. King, that's exactly who it was. King Kong Bundy passed away. King man. Kong Bundy, the first wrestler I ever wanted to emulate. <laughs> that, that's what. <laughs> Why what was you your first to, move? Why would you man, want to see it? <laughs> why would you want to? <laughs> Yo, why would you want to be King it's Kong not, Bundy? It's insensitive to laugh. Okay, well, Bundy topic. button, My you bad. know. It's not the topic to laugh. My bad. It's what the black girls are talking about with y'all. Wasn't his move like the avalanche? We just ran into you while you was in between the, <laughs> the, 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 the turn. The, who is it? The buckles? That's what he's trying to get off. That was... That's the move you wanted to and do the on the block, Joe? Niggas would have knocked Joe the fuck out trying to do the avalanche. <laughs> you try to run into a nigga while he's standing somewhere. Hey, they told me I'm lucky Safari knocked me out. Mm. That's true. Parks, what are you humming about over there? What happened? You're lucky. Yo, speaking of verses, y'all going to get into Joe versus Steve Stout? And, and Crate Talk versus the pull-up? I'm cool, fam. You going to talk about it? That's your ledge. I'm cool. Crate Talk? That's what it's called? Crate? It's called Crate Talk. Crate. You saw it? How was it? Who did he talk, was his first, who who was talk his crates with? I stand with I stand with my guy over here. I wouldn't watch that shit. Who was he? Who was he talking to on a crate? Two chains. Mm. It's crazy. What was the last uh, pull up guest? Mm. Two chains. So we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about the beef that uh, two chains has with Joe. <laughs> he definitely don't fuck with Joe. Or for real? The hell nah. Why you think Let that Joe do the pull up? Then all of a sudden he don't. He called him like, "Yo, listen, don't release the audio, or whatever, some shit." You know. Then Braun got all the audio. Braun and Art. <laughs> mm. You know what I'm saying? Now he on a crate with. Come on, my nigga. He in the do crates. That. Yeah, he's, he's dig, digging through the crates stout? with stout. <laughs> you have crates on set. 
That's crazy. Yeah, the shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's when niggas the gas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna let that nigga talk? To, you gonna let that nigga talk to yeah, you like that? that, that is the gas. That's the gas. Cause you don't want your man doing that to you. Like my nigga, what? Nigga, psh, yeah, all right, this nigga over here, yo, that nigga talking. You gonna let that nigga? Psh, all, right. all right, no, two chains, my guy. But I, I mean, when I saw that, I did say to myself, "Damn, damn I, I wish I knew that he was putting out a show similar to the one that I was planning <laughs> to do." And look him. at here, stout, okay. stout shooting jumpers that, with that, him. That, <laughs> you ain't shooting no jumpers. You ain't basketball. Play basketball at all. That's crazy. And you like basketball. That's true. Y'all could have connected through that. And he's wearing a cardigan with stars on it. Like you trying to get in your cardigan James game. James wasn't trying to connect mm. with this nigga. He wasn't trying to come I don't like him. the stout did that. I should call stout. <laughs> I should call stout. Why you want to call stout? You... He getting his content off. Nah. Y'all got He's me in mad. the content. He's content tinting. Y'all got me mad. The gas now. work? <laughs> 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 there you go. Put some more. Yeah, nigga. It's the gas. Gotta nigga, add to the gas. Oh. 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 Nah, no, I'm mad now that you added some more gas. <laughs> That's the point, nigga. What the fuck is these niggas nigga doing? crazy. Look at stout. He ain't gonna even, if, if, he don't, if he don't answer the phone... He, ca- he counting his streams. Nah, you think the crate game's still going? Yeah, my nigga. Hell yeah. If he don't answer the phone. All right, hold He's busy up. responding wait, so, to the feedback. Wait, so what's the name of it? The, uh, it's called Crate Talk, and he's he's shooting at a makeshift basketball hoop with two chains. That's a crate. Oh, uh, like tying into his album cover. That's corny. That ain't no, it's called Crate Talk Series. It's a that, series. Oh, the crate is the hoop. It's one, it's one mm-hmm. episode. Grand opening, grand closing. I see where that's going. They was shooting jumpers at the crate, though. <laughs> Yeah, man, he stole your shit and then he egging you. Mm, man, he don't want to answer the phone. He probably still on the crate. <laughs> That's mm. wild. Wow. I'm sorry, the person wow. you are trying to reach has a voicemail body. Leave, leave the voicemail. Mad <laughs> gas. <laughs> Words out. All right. All right, my guy. That's a bet. Uh, all right, Damn. let's see. What else is going on? What else is going on? Commissioner in the world? won't even answer. Uh, Luke Perry Pass, Meek Snippet. All right, let's get into the, Ror- the Rory Festival. R- Rory. <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? Pharrell is throwing a festival in Virginia. Look at you, he got is. the rental car ready. Rep. Uh, <laughs> right at Hertz. <laughs> yeah, Hertz. You and the Hertz Connect? Of course. <laughs> you and the Hertz Connect? <laughs> nah, Rory is trash. You don't got the Hertz Connect. No, nah, I used Connect? to have it. We all used to have it. Then Rod got changed his job. <laughs> no, I still got it. I, I was I was using the shit out of that Hertz Connect. Uh, I like this pick. Um, <laughs> yes, sir. You see who's that? What you doing? Who's that? Get out of there! Oh, damn, that's nice too. <laughs> <laughs> Did the side swipe? Damn, when you try to get away. I from ain't do. I ain't do that in a minute. I gotta go to Joe Page. Hold yeah. on. I, I, I ain't do that. It's been like a year. It's been like a year. It's been like a year. I gotta go see what's going on. Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, we're trying to find something to talk about. All right, a uh, Pharrell Festival. Mm. Rory went to Kith last night. Got, mid- got my co- fit. He called Ronnie up. <laughs> Yo, well, open it up. <laughs> Pull the crate up. <laughs> Yo, I know it's midnight. Yeah. Need something for the Pharrell Festival. You ain't here? Mm. Rory, that guy to put the you ain't here at the end. Oh, no, yeah. and ain't nobody heard. You ain't, see, you ain't <laughs> seen the trailer? The trailer. <laughs> Rory, you excited about this Pharrell Fest? Tell us about it, I'm really King. Ex- really excited. Where is it? Virginia. Virginia. It's what, a festival. What part? Virginia. Virginia Beach. Where ain't shit to do but cook. Wait, when is when, when is the date? Virginia. Uh, I think it's <laughs> the date is Virginia. <laughs> I think it's in April. This is called it's be April twenty sixth, seventh, and eighth. He picked three days where he knows nobody's doing anything. I'm free those days. <laughs> Checked everyone's it's schedule. It's called, don't read it. I'm trying to give it to you on the podcast so you can react to it. Are you going to read the artist? Yeah, so okay. you can react to it. Okay. The <laughs> so festival. You, react. you don't want to react? <laughs> I'm going to react. Go ahead. It's your job to react. You're right. You're right. That's why I said uh, I'm going to react. Niggas hate that. <laughs> when you tell them what their job is. No, nah, I'm going to react. You got to react. Uh, Something in the Water is the name of the festival. Mm-hmm. Sounds Rory esque. Because, whoa, yo. Sounds Rory esque. Is there not water so in Virginia, Virginia Beach? Beach? Rory consulted on this one. Is there yeah. water at Virginia Beach? Hopefully. I don't know. There's something in the water. I haven't been down there in a minute. I only ever and performed. Is there down something there in that water? Club. It's definitely it's something in that water. Didn't hit the beach. It's night time. So many black college weekends down there for it not to be something in the water. All right, let's read <laughs> off some names. That could have been a bad joke. Missy that I leave, Elliot. That I leave alone. Missy Elliot. Saying you're gonna leave I alone, not for. leaving alone. <laughs> <laughs> I know where he was going, and I'm definitely not the guy that can engage in these type of jokes anymore. So. 
I'm, gas all y'all want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, 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 it's okay. <laughs> all that. I'll take all that. <laughs> Man, keep, keep going. I'll take all of that. It's okay. Yo, yo my car getting flat. I'm putting a tire on 50 PSI. <laughs> Why do they think I have self control? Um, all right, Missy Elliott. That's a go for Joe. Mm. The Migos. That's a go for Joe ever since the Offset interviews. <laughs> Push your T. SZA. Oh, poor baby SZA, man. Did y'all see Is she okay? She fell on the steps, right? Come on. <laughs> she put it on her page. Yeah, but she, as long as she's she got to okay. get ahead of it. That's true. As long as she's okay, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> I love SZA, but she, she's about as clumsy as me. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't fall down the stairs after you did a circle around the whole room and touched the wall five you know times. Dizzy now. <laughs> you know where the walls are. <laughs> so he touched the wall five times. Then yeah. got to the staircase and, and tried fell. to touch it. Yeah. She Missed. touched it. She touched every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely touched every one of those stairs, for sure. But she's okay, and that's the important part. That's all that matters. So as long as we check on the, check on her first, then we can laugh after. Yeah. That's always how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the remix? When Papoose had all the burrows in his hand? I love Pat. Why are you looking what? at me like that? He had all the burrows in his hand. Pat's gonna shoot you. I don't want Pat. I, think, I, like I that think Rory verse. think he could take Pat, and he can't. <laughs> uh, he can't. No, one hundred percent, you can't. Oh shit! Speaking of right, because I can't take him neither. Now that I think about this, Pat can fight. I'm not fighting no nigga that get a haircut with the hat still on. That's Pap, why I check. Pat, I'm not fighting niggas that do that. Pat posted a vid of himself. Damn, we had 145. We ain't talking about a damn thing. But Mike <laughs> and his ex. See? Pat posted a vid of him at the machine where you punch it one time and then the number skyrockets. Oh, and yeah. like the most you could get is a thousand. Yeah. Most <laughs> I've gotten was about 300. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pap off the drop step hit him. <laughs> off the drop step. Because he didn't give it a, give it a running start. He just drops that, punching some jeans. It was at a 940. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, all right. All right cool. See what time it is. Cool with Rem. <laughs> I'm cool with Rem. <laughs> she going to hold me I'm down cool in case there's some static. I feel like Rem will get up there and give it an 800. <laughs> <laughs> that is one couple. I'm nah. not, and I'm cool, my nigga. For sure. Oh, no. That's funny. Fat, then the, he got a 950. You know how hard that thing is? Yeah. He looked like he did that out of shape. <laughs> I was like, you know what, Pat? I, alphabetical slaughter is my shit. Yeah. I'm about to <laughs> download that right now. And numerical. He, ki- he killed the little brand <laughs> thing. I don't know if y'all saw that video. Download it right now. Oh, right you now. better, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to download that right 950-year-old <laughs> face off your shoulders. <laughs> download that right now, Yo, my nigga. Get a 950. is hard on that machine. I already felt like it was rigged when I got two on it one time. <laughs> that shit definitely how you feeling like a, like, a hold up, fam. I hit, I hit harder than that. Don't do that. Yeah, no, his was accurate. <laughs> yeah, no, his was accurate. <laughs> his was accurate. Did y'all see the freestyle of, uh, of him uh, rhyming all of the b- top 50 brands that yeah. wasn't a freestyle? Yeah, he did it right there. Really? Yeah. Oh, that was here? Yeah. Oh. So rare, I mean, he smoked that shit. Weird, yeah, fle- weird flex, but yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> did Erickson film it? No. Okay. That was Parks filming it. I didn't, know. <laughs> and Parks is the cameraman when Pap come. He saw how to... <laughs> <laughs> he saw how to pap. He saw how to pap. Yeah. <laughs> All right, no, come on. Back to cohesion five hours later. <laughs> All right, what's important here? Let's see what else. Luke Perry, uh, for, oh, the Pharrell Festival. Let me finish reading off the names of the Pharrell Festival. Uh, that would be. Who's that scissor? That would be. Uh, Missy Elliott, Migos, Pusha T, SZA, Janelle Monet, J Balvin, Lil Uzi Vert. I thought you retired, Lil Uzi Vert. What are you doing? Pharrell called. Di- yeah, boy. Diplo, Rosalia. All of us got a chick named Rosalia in our past <laughs> uh, who got busy too. Cause. I'm tired of cause everywhere. Like, all right, you designed the big Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> the like, big Muppet. Yeah, like, Complex Damn. loves that big Muppet. All right, it's you're the same, gonna, it's the same stand, Muppet. Not going to stand with your Jersey City brother? No. Oh, he's from Jersey City? Mm-hmm. Oh, go cause! <laughs> Get the fuck out yeah. of here, my nigga. Give man. cause a round of applause. <laughs> right there, Journal Square. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Give cause a round of yeah. applause. Go cause. All right, let's see. Cause Mac DeMarco. That's not Don DeMarco. That's Don's brother. Mm. Tra- <laughs> Good to see his branch. Travis out. Scott, the Dave Matthews band. 
I don't know them, but I should. And if they're with Pharrell, I'm going to say I do. Yeah, definitely know Dave Matthews. I know, but I don't know them well enough to go to the Dave Matthews Festival. You definitely Which is kind of weird. I feel like they'd be your shit. You have them in your Serato, for sure. No, I got Dave Matthews in my Serato. For sure. You think so? (laughs) Let me type it right now. I think you might have sampled. I think you might have been on the record sampling. (laughs) Joe hopped on it. Although it wouldn't be be a reach. (laughs) (laughs) I think you might have. Not not a second of it in there, by the way. Uh, Pharrell and Friends. Ferg, uh, Ferg, who uh, I didn't know came up with the Bad Boy logo and the Uptown MCA logo. That his was father the other did. one. His father. His father. Dad, his father. Yeah. Same shit. You yeah. did it. Your father did. I'm rolling. Mm. Um, <laughs> Maggie Rogers, Lakeel, Lakele, 47. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. Jaden Smith, Deepak Chopra, uh, Virgil. Virg- oh, Virgil's going to be there showing us some clothes. Uh, Masego. <laughs> He's going to put bread ties on everything. <laughs> Yeah, the whole are, festival. Yeah, Virgil got right. a bread top on your festival. cup on everything. Yeah, yeah. And, and the just, bracelet for admission is actually and, just stabbing kind of fire. Sure. Yeah, and write what it is in quotations. Yeah, festival, <laughs> festival. <laughs> I know Virgil. Then, well, we, I mean, I'm, I, I'm looking at the stage. I, I, I bought the tickets. It's gonna resell for five grand. Uh, Masego, Katrinata, Radiant Children, Janae Aiko, G- uh, Jeffrey Canada, John Robert, Drum, Anderson Pack, and the Free Nationals, Trap Karaoke, I'll go low key. Yeah, and pop up church service. Damn, oh, Kanye showing up. Oh, they don't up. do soul to soul. <laughs> that's a good lineup, though. It is. It is. That's, that that's, is a good lineup. I'm joking, wild. but I don't think everybody it's shows balanced up. Too. They got the white people music in there. They got everything. Yeah, I don't think everybody show up. But Rory, sounds uh, good. Are you gonna? I have, I have room in my rental. Are you going? Are you gonna invite your Duce brothers? Or are you gonna dolo this one? Uh, I think I might bring the podcast crew this time. Get okay. a minivan. Yeah. Maybe we, maybe we could pod uh, in VA Beach. Well, I'm not Let's going, do it. but that means the Mixie Boys. Mm. <laughs> you going to roll. The R&B. Yeah, Mixie Boys. Going. I'm not going to the Come Pharrell on, Festival. Go. Road trip. You're going. No way. Come on, you can network there. No way. <laughs> you don't want to network? Pharrell don't network with niggas. Even the niggas on his lineup. They're his niggas. <laughs> that's yeah. actually funny. Pharrell don't network with nobody that's not his nigga. But everybody's not his nigga at some point. You got to become his nigga. I'm not going to Virginia to become your nigga. Oh, huh? okay. I'm sorry. It's for real. I don't think your jeans are that fly. <laughs> okay I'll FaceTime Chad gonna be there? That's only this era That wanna be friends With nigga And Rory I don't wanna be friends With nobody I'm not, not Pharrell I'm not, No I'm fine Okay no, really <laughs> You wanna be friends With people for, With Pharrell for sure Not with Pharrell You don't nah. wanna be friends With Pharrell Yeah you do why not? not? You've been friends not, with not, every guest You've ever had In all your content cause, Cause unlike y'all I have to meet the person And like them No all everyday struggle guests You ended up loving Oh uh, that's not true Not all of them Everyone on the red carpet besides the Migos. No, You're like, a, I love everything there's, about you. There's a bunch I didn't like that. I mean, we just won't say. So you I hate. Mo- I hate most. I hate most of them though. Yeah, I just that, only I talk. I hate you. most of these niggas. I know you do. I just. I just. But I be telling you, you only hate. You only hate them because you never met them. And then as soon as you meet them, you're like, yo, he's a great guy. Big Sean, I've met. And you still hate. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But you hate Big Sean for a personal reason that has nothing to do with you. I don't care. Okay. Now listen, I'm not mad at it. I'm not <laughs> mad at it, bro. I'm just saying he didn't do anything to you. But I understand why. It's it's related. It's your man. It's going, your man. Janae is going to smoke Big Sean. Which one is she? 22? <laughs> <laughs> They're both 88. For They're real? Both, yeah. Yes. What's the name of the group? 2088. I don't know where the 20 comes from. Maybe it was 20? No, she's the no, one has to be 20. They were in 20 and 88 for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, eight. Is gonna go crazy. Big, 20, 20, 88, huh? And then that's only gonna lead to Ariana Grande versus Janae. And I don't know who to pick in the earthy verse pop star. I don't, did, uh, did y'all see her get a little break up uh, Instagram photo off? Yeah. Nasty. So Elliot, Elliot made sure we all saw it. <laughs> all <laughs> the whole, Elliot's all the nasty. Sure we saw it <laughs> Elliot's going through something. <laughs> Why you say that? He posted Tiana. Great picture. Tiana that was, was a great, great photo. But I had to tell him to really relax. I said, Elliot, you're married. Relax. And somebody <laughs> let me know. And, and she's married. Yeah, and then somebody let me know, no, this is for the and, culture. And her husband got hands probably. <laughs> yeah. I was like, <laughs> but when I saw the Janae thing, I was going to text Elliot. Like, yo, fam. Nah, he's got to let the culture know. Janae trying to bring sexy back now? Come on. You, you know the breakup IG photo. Mm, that she was, had to get that off. That hair was looking good too. I didn't think that was a good breakup IG photo. I didn't think it was either. That, that shouldn't make Sean blink twice. You got when you post it, you got to make your ex look back at the pic. I, don't, I think Sean was chilling. Nah, <laughs> he was looking at that. No, he might have scrolled. I don't think so. He was like, "Y'all took this photo." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could have been. Now she want to post it. <laughs> yeah, because it's a little grainy too. It doesn't look like a real photographer. Yeah, they, was took at, it. they was at a hotel. Yeah, Sean definitely took this. She tried to I add, went more. She tried to add a little bit of fade. <laughs> she got new tattoos and shit. 
She put the good Chicks Valencia. love getting new tattoos after a breakup. She, yeah. got, she got that good Valencia on there, though. I know Valencia when I see it. <laughs> it's that good Valencia right there. She is going to let Big Sean have it. In the calmest yes, voice is. ever. Yes, she is. I don't believe the it. The calmest, no, reverbiest, so? voice. She is going to smoke Big Sean. Is that part of the and new I like brand? Big you got to like, like shit Sean. on your ex? That's been her brand since 2010. No, I said a rebrand. As she doesn't need a rebrand. Yeah. As an no, this is her brand. It's part of the old brand. Yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't need one. Mad <laughs> reverb you coming. Why are you closing your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to cry again. Open your eyes, nigga. <laughs> don't close your eyes in a room full of men. You can't cry three times <laughs> in a week. And you can't close your eyes in a room full of men, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> close his eyes to the keys. Mad reverb. Janae sound like she make a good cup of hot chocolate. She does. <laughs> Nah, tea. Oh yeah, some herbal green tea. Nah, she a hot chocolate chick. I'm telling you, organic tea. She look like she like fuzzy pajamas too with the with the hot chocolate. <laughs> she sound like you look over there and say, "Hey, you want to order some pizza?" And she scoff at you. <laughs> <laughs> scoff. This nigga just said scoff. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Tell me scoff. Janae don't want to eat pizza with us. No, no. She like she put six marshmallows in the hot chocolate. Psst. Absolutely, <laughs> only six. Don't put seven in her marshmallows. That's gonna be her intro. Is just gas, just <laughs> the whole time. Yo, see, this damn man, I'm getting sad, man. Damn, let me let her rock for a little bit, man. I feel bad for the chicks that like meet the dude for the first month and then think he's the soulmate. So you rush to the studio and say mad great things about him that just ages horribly. Mm. I mean, at least we got this record, though. It's a beautiful record. This is a great record. Damn, man. Sean, why'd you do that to her, man? She makes really good napping music. She makes what? Good napping music. Yo, I played that Sailing Souls mixtape the fuck out. I love that she day. came out, man. Jesus. I don't Christ. mean that in a disrespectful way. Like this is just like a nice way to go take a nap for a minute. That's disrespectful, Parks. I don't yeah. think so. No artists want you to play their shit and fall asleep. Sure they do. That's disrespect. Nah. She is gonna smoke Big Sean <laughs> muffin. Nah. As soon as Big Sean you hit say us with muffin? two, <laughs> yes. When he hit us with two boys. It's on. It's over for that. <laughs> yeah, right. it's over for boy. Okay, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Come back with a boy. <laughs> I, I think it's gonna be a good battle. I think it's gonna be a good battle. If Sean pop up with a boy, you have to remember Sean does get one off with every album. He got that Ashley joint off. Like he gets in his X bag. Sean versus Janae, Meek versus Nikki. I'm rolling. I'm in. I don't. I don't think Meek versus Royal Nikki Rumble still for a thing. the summer. I don't think. I don't think Meek and <laughs> that's Nikki gonna be the summer records. <laughs> That's what we got to look forward to oh my God. this summer. I'm not crazy. going to La Marina at all. What's your name? My name, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Where you from New York in this bitch? Yeah. Choose your pick. Pick the right one. Yeah. No? Mm-mm. Y'all hate me. All right, let's see. What else is important to talk about? Nothing, really. How'd Loki end up on a Pharrell Festival? Dick Ryder? <laughs> That's crazy Don't do that to my man <laughs> Yo You gotta relax man Why? What you mean why? I didn't tell him to negotiate this but You can't call it <laughs> Wait you a dick rider For going on a festival Check, With all these great names Check your man Lenny S out Instagram And at the Khaled album's coming That's his manager So? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking You're about? That's supposed to Instagram that? <laughs> your manager not supposed to Instagram you at work? Why your manager hype about your release? Nigga, he yeah, been there. Yeah, but then he let the world know it's coming. Man, just relax, Lenny. <laughs> you, can't, you can't like Ian's captions and then get mad at Lenny. I hate, I hate Ian's <laughs> captions. Ian need to relax. I get mad every morning. Like, what are you, rallying the creatives? Just <laughs> fuck up. Yo, Ian be getting some sick shit he on. He is nuts. That's how I know he going through problems at home. <laughs> like, anytime you get on Twitter and got a rally to create, hey, everyone, Roll call. today is the day. Hope you're awake. Who's, Money to get. Who's up creating? Yes, Ian. If you don't, don't, if you don't read this, you're not up creating, go, obviously. Go hug your fucking fiance or something, nigga. It's mad uh, niggas up creating. <laughs> all right, let's Let's see what else is going on. Let me see. Let me see. Mike, check, Mike, check, Mike, check, Mike, check. Pete Davidson. No. Oh, I wanted to ask you guys. Oh, did y'all see the video of Chris Brown taking bumps? Bumps, 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 pumps in a bump, pumps in a bump. Video of Chris Brown. No. Listen, uh, man. I've, right. I've, seen, I've seen a lot of people take cocaine publicly. I appreciated that he kept that discreet. That was discreet? <laughs> yeah. You put it Compared to that. how other people take coke in public? He tried to mix it with a cigarette. Like, yeah, I didn't just see you. Yeah. He was he just took, taking a cigarette out. He took a woolly? Yeah, but coke yeah. and the cigarette goes together. Yeah, this nigga was smoking a woolly. One and two, peanut butter and jelly. 
No, no, no. He wasn't. He just tried to flip it like he took the cigarette out when he went down to take the bump, which is cool. He did not mad at him at all. I can't. Hey, Savon, find that video. He on his old school shit. He did key bump. Or he was yeah, it was like a little a line key line. No, it was a low key bump. Two lines. Mm. Actually, it wasn't lines. Two nah, bumps. It was a low key, oh, bump. low key bumps. Yeah, yeah, that's all it was. A little little. Yeah, real Fam, cool. you know, you be tired sometimes. <laughs> nah, I peeped how smooth, Could have been B12. How smooth the dealer was putting the deal in. <laughs> have a have fun with that. That's for you on Wait, the arm. the dealer was in the video too? <laughs> that's, well, what, that's on well, me. Well, man, it, it appeared that way. I don't know. Now, mm. I'm not judging Chris because I fuck with Chris. And everybody's been in the club and VIP tripping? and wanted to take a quick bump to really enhance the evening. <laughs> so, I mean. What but he you, lives in LA. Like, what, it's culture. I'm not judging him at all for that quick, at an little, LA club. Quick little couple of bumps, man. It was a boring night. Could have been anything. Could have been B12. That's true. That's true. Maybe that's just how he likes to take his uh, headache medicine. I was about to say, I don't know. That straight to, straight to the head. Yeah. Alka Seltzer. I mean, if, the, if you crush the Tylenol up and inhale it through your nose, it gets quicker. in your blood quicker, and now the headache gone. Headache gone, yeah. The, head, the headache is right here, not in your stomach. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so, Shoot it right to the head, like right to where it hurts. <laughs> you see, you see, y'all had to see Parks point to his head. No. Nah, he, he ain't do that. That's man. what we just said. It's Motrin. No, he ain't do that. that was it's a Motrin. Uh, <clears throat> All right, let's see what else is going on. Video on uh, playoff LeBron. Dame turns itself in. Kodak and Wayne. Pete Davidson's greatest rebounder of all time. How do we feel? <laughs> <laughs> and Spielberg versus Netflix. He hating. Wait, so that's wait, all. No, is. don't tell me that the, the movie's not coming. Which one? No, no, that was um, Scorsese. Ro- Roma Part Two. Oh, no, no, yeah. no Scorsese. Okay, Titanic Two. More, like more waiting on a Roma sequel. <laughs> Loser. No, I, I thought, <laughs> my bad. You said Spielberg. I thought you said Scorsese in um, Netflix. Like the movie wasn't coming yeah, out. No, Spielberg is being a fucking Spielberg. Yeah, because he's Scorsese the over there doing his thing. He's like, nah. He need in. Yeah. One day we gotta talk about how Spielberg is hating on Scorsese his whole career. <laughs> there <laughs> might be beef there. I think that's we gotta they, do a lyric break down of the movies, movies anyways. One, oh, you think there's no beef between them? Oh no, I definitely think there is. I'm saying they shouldn't. They, they're like him. different lanes to me. Don't matter. Who you think will win a fight? <laughs> Scorsese. What are you talking For about? Sure. What? Not even close. <laughs> um. All right. So I said that Khaled's album is coming in May. Unfortunately, I connect everything to Rihanna's album today. That's where I'm at. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm not mad at it. That's just how I'm. I'm on not. It. No one wants to come. Listen, to if a Khaled album is coming and that's that's a blockbuster. See, blockbuster people got to communicate with other blockbuster people. Especially if they do songs together. I don't believe a Khaled album is coming where he's talking about every song is a hit and Rihanna's not featured. Pardon me, I just don't believe it. Mm. I don't believe it. Especially after you had so much success featuring Rihanna on your last... Yeah, I'm not rolling. I think Rihanna's on this project. I think that... I think that's far-fetched. I I think that that whatever that is will predate the Rihanna rollout. I think Rihanna's coming in the summer. She's not waiting in the fall. I hope so. And y'all told me last year that all of her shit's coming to fall. I know. I know. Well, no. I y'all mean, told she, me. If she's doing this, this reggae I don't think she's waiting. dance hall type album, we would need that for the summer. Yeah. That would be a summer album. It'll keep going into the fall, I think, but I don't need it first off in listen, the fall. I sound stupid. I think Khaled knows when Rihanna is coming and he won't tell us. I think this Solange, definitely knows. I think Solange knew when Rihanna was coming yeah. and she wouldn't tell us. And then there was one more thing I call, uh, related to Rihanna's album coming. Kanye's Sunday Service. <laughs> De La Soul. All relates to that. <laughs> De La Soul. De La Soul. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I tell you. De La it's Soul. True. De La Soul knows that Rihanna's coming. That's why they're trying to get their money now. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. right. How are they going to get it when Rihanna comes? That's a fact. I never looked at it like that. That's what I'm here for. How are any of us going to get any money when she comes? That's true. She's making fucking office supplies. Damn. <laughs> I need some Rihanna. Which is nuts. I need some Rihanna paper. What? I'm definitely getting my Fenty pen. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Post-its? Rihanna Hell post-its? Yeah. What? We out here. That shit, and I think the last A time, calendar is all the supplies, Rihanna too. Rihanna put her first album out. I need uh, printer ink, actually. <laughs> what year did Rihanna put her first album out? I don't know. 2006? I, I was going to say five. Six or seven? Six. That was, six. That was, six. Nah, yeah, six no. was her second one, I think. I think her first one was like five. That was five. Yeah. five. Yo, five. Re, re, now that we're... Now that we're uh, now, now that it's been a week, has anyone revisited the the Two Chains or Solange albums? I revisited Two Chains, and what I came up with is that it's a good Two Chains album, but it feels like an old Two Chains album. Like I felt like uh, Pretty Girls album. Love Trap was like a progression for him. Yeah, and this was kind of like him just being in his comfort zone. Mm. Still good, good yeah, still but good it's album, not but like it's not, 
It's yeah. not something that I'm uh, with, with chains. Away I, I'm still a little disappointed because I love Pretty Girls Love Trap <coughs> music so much. Kind of stealing Park's answer. Felt like a not a back step, but it just wasn't it didn't, it didn't moving move the way it, it was the needle with that shit. Yeah, it didn't move the needle. Um, Solange, I went back to. I still once the expectations like settle. It's a cool album. It's it's yeah, cool to like yeah. listen straight through if you're doing something, mm-hmm. but it ain't. You know, I, I'm still. I should have put it on my laundry. It seems like a good laundry. It's album. a great laundry one. Yeah. It's great cleaning the crib shit. It's just not seat at the table as far as connecting to an album. It's just good music. Um. All right. Uh, a few quick questions to y'all before we wrap up and and get to sleepers. Uh, oh shit! Artists, artists that you are are ready for now. Rihanna. <laughs> That's, that a default. Ready for? That's a default no. answer. Give me something else. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Bryson. <clears throat> I've I've killed Bryson enough on this podcast. Uh, I think that he made the mistakes that I want an artist to make if I'm going to look forward to their third project. That's how much I hated his sophomore album. So if I'm going with how much I loved his first and hated his second uh, and going off all that depression shit he was talking about, and if I'm judging the space he appears to be in now, today, I really look forward to hearing what he has to say. I think it's a pivotal time for him. I'm ready for him now. Pause. Uh, this is only because I saw this morning, and it's kind of a cop out, but not really. Oh, you copping out? Berg says Ty's album is done, and we how Ty has contributed to other people's songs in the past year. I got to see him do this shit on his own now, because mm. I not to say his projects have been subpar by any means, but they haven't this been. Is, this gonna be the, the way he's been contributing yeah, to other people. This should be the shit. album that pushes him into yeah, that different. I'm that, really looking that forward that to this Ty project. I'm looking for. Uh, I want to hear some new party, party next door. I'm, I want to hear some new Majid Jordan. Cause his last album to me was crazy, um, crazy as in good. Yeah. Oh, you caping? <laughs> you didn't like the last album? Hell no. Yeah, I'm particularly careful. Hell wait, no. which? Wait, what was the I, last I, album? I wouldn't know. It was trash. Nah, you can't be talking Super about the album. Trash. I'm talking about. Maybe Super. it was an album after that. I didn't like the last three albums. Oh no, 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 no! You tripping? Now you tripping? They ain't sounded good in a long time. <laughs> In a no. long time. They ain't even sounded like the group I fell in love with in a long time. So much so that about a month ago, Rory said, hey, we're going to have to have a Majid Jordan conversation at some point. And we just never had it. But that's the conversation. They've been trash for a while. Hmm. Uh, a space a space between. Yeah. You didn't like that album? No. Hell no. I, I like that album. Nah. The the first one, the Majid Jordan titled album, there was like a couple records on there that I was I liked. but I'll go back, but I mean... The way A Place Like This set off their career... To me, it's felt like everything's it's been... It's been a long <coughs> fall off from there. It's been a long fall off from there. To whereas Division albums, you could still hear Division. Like, even if you didn't like the second one, like the first one, you could hear Division. Well, I still want... I want to hear a new album from them. And uh, Ross. Ross got Ross. Come on. Yeah. Ross got uh, come on. Young artist, Pink Sweats. I want to I hear his next project. Ross' album is almost done, basically, though. But yeah. I know. Okay. We've been saying that for a year. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's done, done with in the phone Yeah It's almost done yeah. You want to hear more From Pink Sweats mm-hmm. I mean that project It's picked up steam But it's been out For a little while So I think he's due up For for some new music soon Think Pink Sweats Got something big coming Maybe, maybe some new sweats <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, a different color Alright give me an artist That, that y'all think uh, That y'all think Has to deliver next Chance An artist that has to Deliver next I'm there with Bryson Which was you just said um, All right, I'm not mad at that. I'm, I'm not putting him there, but chance. I'm going with Dave. Chance. Dave. Dave East. Dave has to deliver. Dave East. He, yes, has to. I, I don't. Think, to. I don't think it matters. It matters. I don't think he's on enough people's radar for it to matter yet. He's been in the studio with some big names, and that's why I think he knows. Yeah, I think he knows that it matters, and I agree with you, Mo. I don't think enough people know about Dave that it matters like that. But I don't think you'll ever matter like that if you don't work yourself into mattering I, like I that. I think this. I agree, and so I, that's why I don't, think if he don't get it now, yeah, I think I, he's pigeonholed. It matters for a long to time. the people that know him, yeah, and that yeah. know his music, yeah. But for to him the masses, to propel, for him to have a chance, yeah, at he needs propelling a good, he needs a to album. the next shot, he needs a good album. He has to deliver on the next one. Yeah, y'all know I I'll fuck with Dave, but he has to. I he agree. has to. No, I'm with you on that. And it looks like he knows. He in there with Tim. Swiss. He in there with some names. Hey, when niggas told me, hey, make a record or get dropped, Tim was on my list. <laughs> Tim was on my list. Swiss, A Rab, he in there with the right people. Yeah. Get, get it get it done. Yeah, Dave and A Rab would be a good good collab. The same way you're talking about Ross album is is the same way I'm waiting on Fab's album. Fab two is another one. It's been a long time. Yeah. 
Been a long I'm time. And up. you know what? If you don't give me an album, I'll take a soul tape for. I'll take a soul tape. Something. Just a body of work. Shit, Let's just say body of work. Tape. Yeah, but I'll even take a Ross mixtape right now. But that's why it's important to look at this stuff because a lot of these artists, like I said, <clears throat> that summer release dictates a whole lot. So if a lot of people were gearing up for the summer and we don't know when anybody is dropping and now you know that Khaled is dropping in May, people have to move around. Niggas are not trying to drop with Khaled. People are not trying to drop with Rihanna. Yeah. I don't know who else would be coming. I don't think Ross is on that list. Chance might be on that list. I don't know. Nah, I'm dropping with Chance. <laughs> yeah, I That's kind of Chance. I would drop with Chance. It might be a mistake, but I would do it. Yeah, I wouldn't drop with Chance. No? Nah. I wouldn't drop a chance either. I'd be scared. I'm, I'm, I'd be nervous. I think if my has, label told me I had to drop when chance was dropping out, I would be nervous. About I think that. he has to deliver on this because he said this is his first album. Chance is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> chance is a liar. And I'm he sorry. cleared it up for us. He cleared it up. He did? Yeah. In his way, in a chance way, in a very chance way. And first of all, with Khaled, if I am have some type <laughs> of credibility with numbers, Khaled does well with impact. His numbers aren't crazy. Like, you could still get a number one off with Khaled coming nah, but out. but his singles it's be crazy. Too much, it's too much impact. His singles numbers it's, be it's crazy. It's way too much impact. I don't think Khaled's it's albums be that dope. way too much visibility. <sighs> I'm just I, saying, I if you look, you. just I'm look just, at all his releases. I don't, I don't remember the last the past time three. Khaled album. The numbers the aren't The nuts. singles, besides the singles. And maybe, even, even maybe, the singles. maybe an album Listen, cut. Khaled is the Cardi of Epic, regardless of what you think. No, of Travis his, is. Travis is priority over Khaled. I don't know. I for sure, I don't think so. For sure, I, I, I don't, don't know so. about that. For sure, I don't know. Khaled's giving you three fucking legit, not questionable hits, like hit, hit, hits. Uh, of course, last year I would say that, but right per now album. Travis is the number one artist at Epic. Yeah, okay. And now, Savon, pull up Khaled's uh, album sales for his last album and Travis's album sales for his last album. Of course, Khaled has been out longer, but I would like to know the disparity between the two. It's Rory brings up an interesting point, but I would disagree. I wouldn't think Travis gets card launch over Khaled. Khaled is so. damn near an executive. Yeah. Over yeah. like a top one. That them, these meetings that he's showing us, all departments are there. Oh no, I, they told <laughs> me Khaled kept them in there for seven hours in that that uh that's, room. That's that's not happening with a Travis. I don't think. I don't know. Well, I that's because I think Travis is less hands on with the label. Yeah. That's all like that is. It's, it's been been still a priority. It's been platinum since August of 2017, so it's probably. I'm just trying to see what his first week numbers were. Uh, I don't care about that. I don't care about the first week. I care about no, what happened. No, because my, my original buck, point buck was dropping with Khaled. Buck, that was my original point. Buck dropping with him. Buck 50. Buck 50? Yeah. Okay. And then oh, I'm saying you shouldn't drop with him because of what happens in the long run, not because of any first week thing. Khaled is visible when he puts an album out. Much longer than the normal artist is visible. Khaled's gonna be on like Ellen and shit, man. Of like, course, it's different. It's of course, different. no. I said impact wise, you could still get a number one off if you drop with Khaled. We'll try. That's it. all I'm saying. Well, go ahead and put the Rory album out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna get there. With Khaled, you gonna put it out? Are you on my album? No, not this. Damn. One. No. All right. Them, emo- them arms just gonna be really emotional. <laughs> come out. Yeah, I called dibs on uh, recording the ad libs. That's cool. Erickson, you filming the video? All right, we in there. Yeah, the crying oranges. The crime. <laughs> the, the, the Suicidal oranges. Sicko. Suicidal oranges. <laughs> Sicko oranges. <laughs> Suicidal oranges. Uh, I think we covered everything, man. I got a flight to catch, so I mean, we can get the fuck out of here. Dame turned himself in. Maul didn't want to give us a breakdown about it. I didn't know about it. Yeah, I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, Dame turned himself in on a child, old child support warrant that he okay. said was Still? stopping him from doing, coming, coming yeah, here? moving to New York the way he needed to move, so he turned himself in t- said he was a free man, you know. Oh, so, great. Shout out to him. Uh, Le- oh, you don't want to talk about playoff LeBron? <laughs> <laughs> or lack thereof? I just want... No, here's my thing. I just want people to finally just say I was right. Never that. Okay. We don't stand with <laughs> no, you. Man. Did uh, y'all watch Hollow vs. Math? No. Somebody... Oh, that was y'all in the group chat last yeah. night. Yeah, you guys should check it out. It's a good battle. No, they hit the group chat to say, yo, that shit was wild with no link. Yeah, we need the links, man. Put a link. Don't yeah, hit, that's, that's group don't chat hit etiquette, me with your commentary. Yeah, that's group I'm chat I'm not etiquette. going to hit the search to find yeah. it. Like, if you're going to say that in the group chat, send the link. Well, sorry, I was watching on my Spotify TV because I was in my living room. Oh, that was room. you that sent it? Yeah. I was it wasn't link, on my... I didn't click the link, the link for my phone. It. Send the link, Rory. Like, you know better. Well, you have a 75,000-inch TV. Just click that shit in. Yo, Siri... They had to battle Mad. in Joe's, his living room. <laughs> they were standing on the couch. They weren't standing on the couch. Yeah, you remember when room. you performed on the couch in Philly? You remember that? For, for the fans. 
Rough times, man. No, it wasn't. It was for the fans. Came a long way. And rough times. <laughs> and rough times. <laughs> It was both. All right, look at Kyrie. Come in the Knicks, man. Just get over here. You don't have to deal with Terry Rozier ever again. Um, <laughs> let me see. Let me see. That's let me see. Man. Let me see. Uh, playoff LeBron. Maul is sad. The Lakers are tanking for Zion, and they don't, they don't want to say it, and Laker yeah, fans no, don't want to say no it. So it's cool. Zion. It's cool. Shit. You have zero chance. Yeah, I know. We're not getting a top five pick. I know. Not happening. That's the same thing they said about the Bulls when they landed Derrick Rose. No. But this is different. There was only a 13% chance. I don't even think we have that. <laughs> no, the Lakers don't even have that. I don't even think we have a 13% chance. If y'all land them, can we fight? Yeah. I 100% want to fight a Lakers fan. I see dudes on my timeline trying to tease Lakers fans about not making the playoffs. I'm like, all right. If they catch this first pick, I'm fighting each and every one of you. Nah, we, <laughs> have, yeah, we have no chance. Listen, I've seen how the league acquiesced to LeBron when he wants something. I, no, I get what you're saying, but nah, this is different. If the, I think the league wouldn't mind seeing Kuzma, LeBron, and Zion together. Nah, that's nasty. That's nasty. That's a nasty three. <laughs> Phoenix, y'all might as well win some games. Zion is off, y'all. Y'all might as well win a few. <laughs> <laughs> like, niggas ain't going to Phoenix, No, no, they dog. did. They beat us. That was oh, yeah, a, they, they did beat that's them. worth a few games. That should be <laughs> three wins. Right, Beating the like, fucking Lakers. Yeah, the trash. Yeah, man. but the the roster we have? Like, come on, man. The roster's trash. We ain't supposed to lose to no fucking Phoenix. Honestly. Y'all need DeMar DeRozan. I'll, t- I'll actually take him right now Of course you would I'll take him Of course sure. you would Should I take him uh, <laughs> That's everything man Shout out to the million people That, that are in Spotify India I had to read an article To find out Thanks Lauren <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to India um, Shout out to y'all I meant to talk about I meant to come in here And talk about All the wonderful things You guys are gonna do With your tax returns But I missed it Hmm but, like, I'm old school. I'm from the ever where, like, girls would give us a kid or something to claim. <laughs> so I, w- I wanted somebody to just tell me what the new hustles were, <laughs> what the new scams were. Like, not have any how are y'all visible get- income. How are y'all getting <laughs> to this income tax bag now? Like, just help me out here. I don't know. And how are you celebrating? I know how April is for niggas. <laughs> how are you celebrating? I know how April is for niggas, man. So go ahead and, and share with us your different ways of celebration for getting over on the system, man. <laughs> for real. Um, is that it? That's all we got? Let me pull out my phone. I don't have my phone, but somebody pull out their phone. <laughs> and do what with it? I'm not seeing any new, new information. Is there, is there anything coming this weekend? Not that anything I'm, we're missing? Not that I'm aware of. Oh, thanks, Savon. Savon, the do he trying to get that do. <laughs> uh, let's see. Luke Perry, Chris Brown, playoff LeBron, Dame, turns up and Mike Tyson, MVD, Kodak, and Wayne, MJ Dunn. Uh, so so da, 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 da. yep that's about it hey so keep us in your prayers lord knows we need to be there until saturday we bid y'all adieu peace love blessings health all of that good shit this has been amazing um and until next time i'll talk to y'all later hold it down one